everybody. How is it going? We are back on our second show of 2019. Happy New Year back to you, Shiraz Aman. Yeah, I got a cool, just was in a really big editing mood the last few days. Got a ton of new videos and stuff. So um, there's a few of them at the top of the show. Hopefully you like that. Nim Chimsky in the house. And who's not in the house, at least I don't think so, is our old friend Nichols, who I got to meet in person up in Seattle. Very cool dude. Um, and this is his build, plus or minus five or six cards and some sideboard stuff. I just love this build. It's super fast, super mean, super aggressive. Um, I'll go over the list here real quick, but I call it White Nickel because he made it. So I'm going to give him some credit. We got uh, 18 basics. Uh, the original ran some steps in there, which are cool for drawing, but this wants to really come out first and fast. And so I didn't think it was worth the draw mid to late game sort of thing. So anyway, we got uh, four cartouche, four death blades, four javelineers, probably in this metagame bordering on maybe one of the worst cards in the deck. It's funny, it used to be such a staple, but um, Delver's kind of hiding away from the bully as far as from what I can see. We've got four Inspectors, four War Falcons, four Mutagenics, four Sky Hunters, four Sky Fishers, four Journeys. I used to run two of these and two Bone Splitters. I just never liked seeing Bone Splitter. There's enough pump and ramp and all that stuff in this deck to uh, make your critters big and nasty. So, and this is a little homage to how popular the Gurmag Anglers are. So I wanted four of these, four Drill Masters, settle it up, making Skyfisher really cool. And two Oblivion Rings just to catch, uh, just kind of a catch-all. I just, I like seeing it. Um, you can always side it out. In our sideboard, we're running two Alkalites, three Visionaries, two of the other Alkalites of the Obsidian Persuasion, one Rune of Protection Red, because we have white mana. Be careful auto-shoving this in over a COP Red. If you're running all white basics, it's a good choice because you can cycle it if you're already up on the aggro. If not, you can get in a tight spot pretty quick if there's more than one red thing coming at you. So Samba Ram in the house. I'm reading out of order. Sorry about that. I'd like to shout out to new names I haven't seen in a while. And of course, it's a deluxe build. So I've got four Fairy Macabre because it's the only answer to Tron that they can't answer back. And our Aura Fracture shows up in the one spot to go grab a bunch of other stuff. So last week, we ran into a bunch of strange outings where we had like people that would join in one second. 10 seconds, and then there were a few couple minutes. So I'm going to just jump over here and see what's going on. And yeah, this is my kind of deck, says Kunz Frazen, and Hex and Rouge in the house. Thank you, thank you, Hex and Rouge, for many, uh, many of things. You know, that was one thing I was going to forget to do. I'm going to try to start shouting out our, our financial supporters at the top of the show, not to sound like some rudimentary podcast, but uh, you guys do deserve it, and it keeps, uh, keeps everything going nicely. So anyway, while we're waiting, Soldier's Tribal, not so much. You know, let's go back over the list because it's, it is such a... Uh, a cool list indeed but yeah this is a uh, white nickel brought this to the format about six months ago i think and uh, got his first 5-0 i was real excited it ran a few different cards here and there but for the most part um it's a soldier deck that has a lot of air power really aggressive and the big the big change over a traditional white weenie deck is cavalry drill master and i was really wrong about this card i thought it was good i didn't think it was eh, it's not great but it's it's in between and uh i just thought it was it it wasn't all that he was excited before it even showed up put it in the deck boom five o's and that's all she wrote so um it's it's really got some staying power with it it's it's pretty awesome so we got a nice hand here this is kind of the ultimate draw with the death blade elite and a cartouche on it with back up with the mutagenic this card is so underrated and popper so we're going to keep going for that so anyway let's keep this and hope we do all right should do better than last week there's a little bit a little bit more serious deck Things we don't want to see are elves, but we have enough uh, journeys and such in the Death Blade package. We can kind of keep things going. The problem is uh, if they're able to, um, what do you call, untap or do any sort of tap trips, like with a Bir Birchlore Ranger, really shuts off Death Blade Elite. So if this is elves, we're kind of in a early pinch already. Hmm. I want to mutagenic this first to see if he has a vines. I'm going to pay two. In case it's stompy, I just want to be out of the woodwork here. If it is stompy, I don't mind trading here. If he's got a vines, I'll have to use it now. Manic fold in the house. What's up? All right. Hey, everybody's showing up today. Thank you for joining me, everybody. All right. We are going to block this. Just playing it really safe there. If this is elves, I want to really shut that thing off quick. I don't even know what I'm supposed to write down here. And I'm way caffeinated, so please let me know if I'm chatting too fast. And I want to go over another list there. I think his name is DJ Glitter. Uh, I was playing some Extreme Rogue, and that's saying something for me. I was attempting uh, my land destruction deck yet again. 
threw my own money at something and uh, crashed and burned pretty hard. But hey, that's how you learn. And uh, but I, I, it was really frustrating because I lost him three times in the same. Uh, uh, it was like two or three days ago, all three matches. And he had a pretty cool brew. If you Google his name, or I should say go Goldfish, his name, you'll see. Uh, He's got a pretty cool uh, red, he uses giant baiting, fire blast, it's it's curd apes. There's all kinds of cool different iterations on it. So just a minute here. All right, so we got a BTE in the house. Hmm, we have just dropped our second plane to the game. Uh, let's see, don't have much on the uh, life plan. Let's, I could opt to kill that. We're gonna have defense later. Right now, I think I've just got to set up this and take my lickens here. Don't have much life gain in this deck. Uh, versions of it that I've seen, you know, you can run a, what do you call, a Vault Scourge and such. But for right now, we're just going to keep this going here. This is hurting bad. This is bad because the trample damage is going to really shut off our ability to um, chump block this dude. So that being said, I'm actually going to block this, just try to get to the mid game here we're usually the aggro but one of the few times i wish it was elves and not stompy with this start this is a brutal start all right we've got journeys and all kinds of answers for this but we just need to draw them all right well this is at least going to shut off one of these dudes now i'm tempted to make this a three of let's do it just in case we get we get some other goods going around he can rock this, and I will attack and make him block with the pit sulk. At least keeping his attacks down to one dude. Yeah, we want to do that for striking it, maybe. Let's see. T Tactical Terry's in the house. Good to see ya. And nice, nice to see some new faces. And I don't know what has happened to Little Fight. He has fallen off the globe. I know he's uh, going through upheaval like I am as far as moving his entire family and such, but... Hopefully he joins in. It's very rare that I don't hear from him for a full week, but that has been the case. So I feel like a bad friend, but he changed phone numbers and a few other things. And it's like, he's kind of lost in the shuffle. So I'm sure he'll pop up here sooner or later, but till then it's just Shiraz and I holding down the metagame fort. All right. So we're going to take a big fat seven here. Damn. Well, if we get a mutagenic and he doesn't have a vines, we can force him to block with the, um, with the guy and, uh, we'll go from there, but I'm just going to take this. think maybe oh boy oh all righty that's good to know clear ouch and we're dead just like that bam but i don't think that'll be the uh final score we'll write down an l there good old uh hunger of the howl pack showing up in droves or at least one of when it really hurts okay so standard bear is going to come in we would like to have a little bit of life gain here so i'm going to bring in two of these i think i got to keep this um, javelin ears are okay. Uh, I'm going to lose one mutagenic. I'm going to lose one or two inspectors. We're not really worried about one damage stuff. It's more of a roadblock and we want to draw a little mid to late game. I'm thinking we lose maybe. We want to keep our air power. Journeys and, and the uh, removal pack, it's going to be pretty, pretty good there. Maybe one drill master because we're not really the aggro here yet. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see how this goes. Bam, it'll be fast. Hey, oh, says matter of actual. Good to see you. Yeah, if you top caught the top of the show, we got some um, had some pretty cool fun with a little sunset there, going off the sun rays and integrating into the propaganda symbol. Been on a uh, bit of a Zelda kick lately. If you follow us on Facebook and such, you've seen a little of the downloaded the fonts and just been having a lot of good times with that. Okay, so we've got. That was the biggest problem if you had a little cliff note for game one, right? We didn't see all four of our journeys or two of the other ones. We just needed to draw one. We didn't. It happens. We'll keep. Obviously going to lead out with the Javelineers, keeping uh, any sort of Quarian Rangers at bay. Muha. Match one, game two. This is correct. I've been on a crazy mono blue list with 20 islands, 12 fairies, and 30 counterspells. You were talking about that last week, I believe, or was that t I can Somebody with a T in their name. Yeah, there's that new fairy. What is it? The uh, the fairy duelist. It's a one-two with flash. That's interesting. I think that'll see li lists in some rogue stuff, but I'm not quite sure if it'll do much beyond that. 
All right, well, I'm just gonna settle down the fort here. We're just going to go for broke here and attack with this. I would love to if our uh, provoking soldier would show up in this scenario, but we've got two javelineers on board, mutagenic, drill master backup, feeling pretty good. This is usually how the stompy matchup goes. Not like last round, but what you gonna do? Hey, oh, you are T-Core too. Okay, <laughs> I figured, I, th I thought the name, it's close enough and sounded familiar. Have you seen those diamonds in the new set for Popper? I have not. Um, I wrote down a list of the stuff I like in the new set. Ah, well, you will see. Well, so we do have access to... Um, we do have access to uh, Skyfishers. So Journeys, while he's untapped, I think I'm going to just go for this. Of course we could. You know what? I think I'm going to wait on that. Let me drop this. We'll throw it on our Vigilance token. We'll keep the Javelin here back. And go like this. And this strange looking warrior. Something out of 300 with a bad haircut. All right, all right. Yes, it is. We'll go over it if uh, one of our rounds is really sh slow to go. I've got it queued up there. So we'll go like this. And attack with these guys with our first strike. A little mutagenic backup. A little surprise value here. If he kills it, that's cool. It's going to cost him quite a few cards. Or none. All right. We'll drop there. And we're very happy to block with the Drill Master. What's cool about this list is it really promotes Skyfisher. You can start bouncing cartouches to make warrior tokens, or you can bounce the Drill Master, or the Javelineers, or a Journey to Nowhere. You get the idea. It's one of those you almost want to run that... Um, who was it? Samuel Beckett. Somebody had a, when the challenges first started, they had a white list and it used that new, um, ah, what was a Kaladesh white creature, the two drop. It doesn't fly, but it returns a permanent as like the fifth sky fisher. That could probably be warranted in this list. Like I said, I ran Bone Splitter for a while. Nah, nah didn't feel too, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> extreme about it. Tactical Terry, that's a good name. All right, so he's rolling with this. <clears throat> Let us see. We're going to do two and two. Let's at least go for this. <clears throat> Cost him a card either way. Wish first strike worked that way. That'd be cool. There is that new green fight card. What is it? Um, yeah, the Titanic Brawl. That's pretty cool. Being that it's an instant, even without its little bonus ability to molder being cloak. Very nice. If you're going to go in on enchantment, that's a good thing to choose. He's probably choosing white because of my preponderance of uh, prismatic strands tech over the years. So he's going to have a 5-5. Five, five. We can shoot it. Yeah, we can do that. It's going to cost him a few more. All right. That's dead. Not sure if he's going to want to move or lose more cards to that. Cool thing here is Javelinier can kind of kill him. It's probably not going to work here, but we're going to force him to go all in, losing another card, and then our journey is going to be able to mop it up. For your information, says Tactical Theory. I'm not quite sure. Heard the name pronounced any new province show, but I thought I wrote it Tactical Terry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're the same person. Then I'd be really screwed up. But if you don't already, make sure to check him out. Any new province is very good. Twitch TV or YouTube, however you like to do it. All right, well, we'll block this. Save half our life. Little rounding magic there. Two cards, we're at 18. We're feeling okay. Yeah, this is great timing here. I'm just going to bring this up. I could bounce for aggro here, but I'm just going to bounce for the uh, land so that we can play Journey and still stay aggro with their stuff here. We got a 5 5 Mongrel looking us down and. Mutagenic aside, that's not going to help him live through this. Maybe we'll get a quick concession here. Depends on what's in the hand. He's pitched that, that, and that. Hunger is really liking this guy. And here we go. Pow. All righty. All our globetrotting friends. As always, I remember when I first started streaming about two years ago. It was just shocking. It was like, whoa, I'm like chatting within seconds with people all around the world. It shouldn't really surprise me too much. I'm sure anybody under the age of 30 is kind of rolling their eyes like, 
How old is this guy? But hey, man, I appreciate it. All right. Making it a game. Here we go. Gleeful shows up. Note to self. He's got a few things there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Now, if we had another one, this would be really cool and ideal with the drill master as it sits now. I'm going to return our javelinier. Maybe keep Gorian Rangers and such out. Or do that last little bit of damage. I think I'm going to keep the drill master back. Yeah, I, just in case he's got a uh, Hunger of the Howl pack here. He's already at 10. We've got him on like a two-turn clock here. And this is going to... Drill Master, I'm fine trading him off. One more mana would be nice, but I'm not going to be mad about that. Global Super Bowl, what are we talking about here? X and Ruse from the Ukraine. Hey, we've got the whole world covered here. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let's pull this one off. Start off 1-0 after that blitzkrieg of a first turn on our opponent's part. Stompy's one of those decks never out. You know I have not seen this yet. A nice little uh, Bottle Gnomes artwork there. Oh, it shows you now, too. Darn it. Used to be uh, bragging rights to be able to name drop, name drop cards and such like that, but I guess not anymore. All right. So there's a big arrow. 5-5. Five, five. Wow. I'm a fan of Moldermean Cloak. If you're not playing Hexproof and you, you know, your creatures keep coming back and whatnot, you can use utilize your graveyard. Really cool. Because they can't really two for one you as much. They can kind of one and a half you for one. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I see. I, I read up. Sorry about that, Manic Fold. Yeah, I'm Chomsky. That's right. What was I reading? Uh, Captain Fantastic. That was a really cool movie I was just watching and that was mentioned. All right. Um, I got a hunch here. If I take seven, I could take eight would be at ten, and we hit four. That. Hmm. And any trick does it. I'm going to block here. Let's see if we can't trade. Hopefully it's not a forest he pitches, but we'll see. We'll be taking five. Yeah, Captain Fantastic. That was a great, great movie. I really liked it. Good double block, but I, I'm i okay trading the card in his hand. I want to keep my air power going. He's on a two-turn clock. We're not. There's quite a few other cards we can buy. Ooh, look at that. See? A drill Master is going to go home and brag about how he killed a mongrel with the opponent with one card in hand. Or not. I tell you, I get way too geeky sometimes. This is one of the other reasons I chose this deck today with Gurmag Anglers everywhere and such. It's why we're running extra Journey to Nowhere's on top of, uh, what am I talking? Oblivion Ring. This guy sits there and blocks it all day long if it's mid to late game and you just got extra mana and you start picking people apart in the air. So that's always good times. All right, well, I'm just going to come in for five. Got to hold back. I think we got him next turn and we just uh, prevent the damage. Unless he's got... Let's see, Rancor Vines, that would put him at 7-11. We'd take 12. Still alive in that scenario. Oh, all right. So that's usually how it goes. Sorry about that game one. Hopefully we do okay. It's another reason. This is a very aggro deck, and you you would, you would couldn't even be argued against if you ran as little as 16 lands in this because the curve, except for the ring, as you can see, is all two. I just love that, that consistency and being able to come out swinging. You know, later on, you're going to want to pour mana into these things. You want to trip your 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 goods there against certain matchups. You want to have free mana to do these things. And then you can pitch them to the Aura Fracture, depending on the matchup there. So, All right, so we've got all our journeys. We've got our Oblivion Rings. We're laying a little low on the aggro. Probably one of the only decks that we're not horribly favored as far as being the uh, aggressive matchup there. First Strike's a thing. We've got all this good stuff here. He's probably got some uh, scattershot archers in the mix, although he didn't see a war falcon, so he might not be bringing those in. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I could consider losing a mutagenic for yet another uh, early blocker in the Theraban Inspector. Might roll that way this, this round. Let's do that. And then we'll go off to here. Bam. Yeah, Daft Punk. Yeah, that's, I don't know if you've uh, 
watch propaganda mutt long. I know in the past I've bitched and complained about that because there was a, f a while there where, and I think it's still a record ongoing with me with Daft Punk and the Tron soundtrack. I love Tron Legacy soundtrack. However, maybe I like it too much because I've, I'll, I'll be doing good in a tournament. Let's say I'm three and zero. Oh. If I play that soundtrack, even one song, I'll crash. And it's like, if, if I start off that way, anything, I just, oh, it's, it's awful. I am going to ship this outside of a uh, war falcon blocks i know we have that one extra mana we are on the draw this is a brutal hand if we draw a planes i don't know what do you guys say we have plenty of time this is game three we have 17 minutes we're on the draw if we draw one mana this it's almost over i mean i that's being very uh, egocentric i apologize they could have an awesome hand too what do you say i'm thinking ship Oh, and you guys, I, I went old school today with the card frame. Usually I make my own, but I went, uh, no, there are 17 lands left. Hmm. Ship it, says Hex and Rouge. All right, I'm going to ship it. Mulligan. Well, now I will keep it because we're going to be able to look. We've got this, a lot of one drops. We'll keep. Get on that bottom. All right. There's one turn saved. Yeah, yeah. Mox Pearl. Yeah, you know, that's one of the, speaking of Little Fight, that's one of the uh, first cards he ever showed me. And it was all, even then, it was all chewed up and looked like he had slept on it and put it under his tire as a boost for a jack. <laughs> Who does that? But, all right. In the off chance, usually a uh, first turn pit sulk means you have one or two others in your hand and you that's the only creature you have so that being said i'm going to probably block here if i can although he might just follow it up with a rancor and then there goes that plan all right there it is force on their side be nice to get that standard bear out we can force the death blade to trade with it later if we live that long this feels okay ouch man Come on, we already shipped this. Paying our dues, let's do this. Either way, we could actually uh, just attack with a death blade if we drop another land and want to slow roll it. Go for there, but I think I'd rather just drop that standard bear, take another three and go from there, but who knows? Oh, uh, Hex and Rouge, are you talking about the um, the uh, War Falcon? I love the War Falcon. We don't really have many combat tricks on the defensive side of things, but it's always up to you and your choice. Why we lean a little heavier on soldiers. If he taps that last mana, ouch, all right. Great play. I like their board position a lot more. Three lands. Their fight card showed up at a perfect time. So if we do drop a land, it can keep his guy alive. If we don't draw a land here, uh, it's not usual that I lose to Stompy with uh, this, this list. But we can't lean on Prismatic here. Come on, planes. Oh, boy. Let me remind you, we're running one more land than we should be. Maybe even two. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be very frustrating if I lose first round of Stompy. This is uh, kind of a good matchup usually. And I haven't really punted here. Ouch! This is getting worse. Now we need a Plains and a Plains. <laughs> Get the Oblivion Ring on board real quick. Yeah, at this stage, I'm going to be happy to just get rid of some meat on their side and double block here. How much is that mutagenic feeling like a bad bad idea now with the epic confrontation last turn? Of course, the thing we swapped it for isn't here, so it's not like that would happen. We're kind of dead next turn unless something real extreme happens here. That helps a lot. God, I would love to have a journey to nowhere here. We cannot block that. However, if we drop the standard bearer here, he can't do much of anything else with it. I don't know if there's any uh, creature you control spells in green. It's usually white that has that. So let me just think it over here. 
Yeah, we just have to buy time. Boy, we're going to be a one life. Yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer here. Now, if we can just journey that, we're going to have two dead cards. We're going to be a one life. Hopefully, they didn't bring in gut shot for uh, standard bearers, and they're just going to point it at our head next turn. A lot of options for our opponent. Not many for us. This isn't feeling very good. We really, really want a planes here. We're going to take six. No, there it is. I guess he's got to hit it there. Does he got another? Oh, I right, can't beat those kind of draws, folks. Bam, bam. And like that, I was pretty sure this deck is uh, pretty awesome usually. But boy, hey, you know what? People have their good draws. It happens. It happens to me. I ain't going to complain when it happens. Whew. All right. Here we are. Down a game. We'll just jump right in here and hope for the best. Now, before I get too set up, here's the new spoiler. We've got all kinds of cool things. Arrestor Zeal, I think, I don't think it's in, gonna be in many decks, but I'm gonna give it a try in White Infect because of its uh, ability to, uh, to, do, 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 do. yeah, it gains flying if you do it during the main phase. So we'll see. See if our uh, opponent's here quickly. If not, we'll go back to the spoiler list. <laughs> all right. Hey, where'd our match go? There it is. Yeah, we want to play this. Old Mac, two lands. This feels really good. We'll keep this. Love Mutagenic in this list. Um, you know, I almost wish I punted last game because I'd have an excuse. But, you know, sometimes decks just top deck well. We've all been there, seen it, done it. Well, maybe not done it, but I'm going to go for the uh, fast air power here. Ooh, G-Funk Splash. That card might be sweet and mono white. Heroic, making Seeker of the Way fly over. This is true. Yeah, I like I like those. Uh, even when I do have instants like in Boros Bully, sometimes I'll just, you know, it's kind of like a Mother May I sort of situation. You're like, I'm going to give everything this boost. Is that cool? They're like, all right. And then it's like, all right, now, I, now I've got a lot more information to act on and design around. Good stuff. Well, let's, uh, let's get the fly party going here. Spectre will be a nice little one drop later on. Maybe pick it up with Skyfisher, start drawing some cards mid to late. We'll see. Ash Baron shows up. What are we up against here? Island. Uh-oh, is this tribe? Oh, no. <laughs> too hungover to work it out, says Shiraz. Shiraz, that's two weeks in a row. What's going on? I'm just teasing you, my friend. Good times. It is the weekend after all. Dink. Here we are. All right. Let's attack. We're going to play this. Go like this. I'm going to play this. And I think I'm going to bring back the clue man. I want to draw some cards here. Not going to have to worry too much about Metagenic. This is the second Azorius deck I've seen today. I played a little bit earlier and went up against, um, what was it? You know, like the Reality Acid sort of thing. Blink was showing up again. It was a trip. All right, so that was Stumpy. This is, I'll just put AZ for Azorius. All right. Well, good luck blocking this. Here we come. Boink. One thing I do love about Therbin Inspector, I know I've been hard on the lady, the man. It looks like a, yeah, definite lady. Um, it is cool when you're up against other like one threes and such. You're able to just be like, hey, check this out. And this is one of those aggro decks where you do kind of want to trip these and see what you can get because of this kind of draw. Boink. We're going to go from here. Um, let us, uh, we'll, hit, we'll hit here. See what's going down. Bring out a token. Good times. Nichols invented a pretty cool deck here. It's a nice little hybrid of uh, heroic mixed with white weenie. Opponent's already at seven. We're feeling pretty good. He might be playing familiar. Vitor Geller. Nice name. Cool. He could be. Snaps are a thing. A little desperation play with the hard cast Ash Barons there. There it is. Snap. I think you are right. Geller. Down it comes. Is this the stone horn showing up? Please let us draw a journey if it's a stone horn. Not much we can do against that. Skyfisher comes back. All right. This is getting ugly quick. Stabilizing at seven, it looks like. Is this a stone horn or is it a mole drifter? It's a mole drifter. All right. We're going to go on a recast-a-thon. 
Seal goes down. Ooh, seal of removal. Right up there was seal of fire. Nice. Can't counter that once it's out. This is cool. Well, hmm. Let's attack with everything. Yeah, yeah. Yep, the rhino is coming to town. I just really, we, we need to draw some bounce here. Okay, we're going that way. Not too worried if we lose that. Let's kill the bird. This is tough. Maybe we just go for the damage. He'd be at four. If we do this, he doesn't have any snap tricks. Yeah, tough decision tree here. He just bounces that if we try to kill that. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I get that. He could do that either way, though. Um, one, two, three. He's not going to have that many seals. He's already played two snaps. I'm going to go for the aggro here. If he wants to return my Therabin Inspector, that's great. I'll draw cards. I got enough flyers to do without. What do we got? Is he going to snap the seal? Boink. All right. Cool. Let us do this. The Inspector General. Bring our dude back. Play our dude. Okay. I just really want to keep up the aggro here. Last spell at least. In case Daze shows up. All right. Onus is on them. Sealer removal is a thing. Wilds. All right, let's keep this rolling. Life gain showing up. Two mana represented. Does he have the third snap in such a small sample size of cards? There's no familiar out yet, so we're out of uh, flicker territory. Good news is we can trip our clues now. This helps. So what's going to be coming back? What don't we really want to see go down? Let me trip this real quick. Okay. Interesting. I want to put it on a flyer. But I definitely don't want it on that. I can recast that a wee bit easier. You know what? I'm going to put it on this. If he wants to tr drop that seal, it's going to cost him. Going to let me get another dude. How's it going to work here? All right. We're going to attack with our two. Come on, Javelineers. You're just going to take it? You can't take it? Boing! Opponent's going to be at one, it looks like. We'll replay this. Just got to keep this pressure on. Play our dude. Outside of a prismatic strands. Nah, it feels pretty good. You never know with these decks, though. All he's got to do is drop a dignitary and then we're hurting again, right? Or a bunch of these guys. Three cards in hand. Snap shows up. Let's shoot our own guy. I think that's the play here. Even though they're at two, they're gaining quite a bit of life. Those guys aren't going to be worth as much. I want to keep the tempo on my side. Third snap shows up in the first 18 cards. That's pretty burly. So now he's got to make do with two mana. Or three, I should say. Don't want to discount Ash Barons. These decks always make you so nervous. That Rhino shows up. Very overpowered if you can run it. There's no flaring pain around that. Thank you for that, Hexen. I appreciate it. Never hesitate to call me out on my crap, though, especially if I'm punting, which we all know I love to do, especially when I'm streaming. 
I just attack here, I'd love to save this for you know who. That's one less dude. One more damage. Let's bring it out and grab the Seagate before attackers, just in case he's got some sort of. All right, because I was about flicker there. So, all right, up a game against some sort of flickering nastiness, Zorius, such as such. I'm just happy I haven't really punted here. So, Standard Bear is going to be really good against Snap and such. Didn't really see much of uh, many enchantments on the board. Anybody want to do a quick search? Is Aura Fracture even worth bringing in? I don't know. Javelineers felt good for the uh, ability to do, just kind of do recursive damage. We are definitely the aggro here. And obviously we need Fairy Macabre in here, but how many? How many do you guys think? We got some time. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick, guys. Please let me know if and if I should bring in Fairy Macabre and how many and such. Discuss amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Oh man, nobody said nothing. I'm all alone. What's going on? All right. Well, Oblivion Ring. I still like to keep these. I want to stay aggro. I'm not quite sure what the list is on here. I know Deathblade's going to be good. Javelin Ears are good. Could probably lose two of these. Maybe all of these. I'm not going to have side of some blocking issues I want at least three macabre myself I just don't want to fall for some sort of silly lock going down god I wish there was a uh, what would it be called a uh, sapphire alkalite acolyte 42 seconds left uh, I got one more spot open no 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 let me We're dealing with bounce, so Cartouche isn't that great, but I don't want to ne neglect it at all with, with regards to that. I need to keep the, that one in. We'll try this. I'll bring in three Macabre. We'll see if it shows up. Maybe we can do it without. We'll see. Just hate when I get locked out of a game with those cards. So, Missionary. Manic Fold, you're probably right. My clock's down, though, so if, if I crash and burn here, we'll go back. Probably nothing. You are right, but I just... Um, Depending on the list, I could I could see that being a big time issue. Okay, this is a temp, tempting pitch, but we are kind of aggro. We've got our javelin ears out early. We'll keep. Hopefully, we can shore this up quickly here. Plane shows up. Don't want that zero four wall dude showing up. Let us do this here first. Yeah, I just don't want to... Aggro's nice, but if you don't have any answer, then you're kind of dead in the water. Flicker is such a beast. All right, Preordain showing up. Old Mac is our opponent. I don't think I've ever played this person. I like the Theory Manic Fold, and I think if uh, all goes well, that works. But uh, there's all those times I've had where I have one... Or my opponents at one life and you just can't win because they start doing all the bouncing shenanigans with the walls or the what's that little one two wizard called crazy <laughs> i'm not quite sure I, I lost that in the uh terry as far as what what you're referencing there but this is an interesting play a seal for a javelin ear <laughs> it's like way to turn I kind of like this uh, having having access to inspectors against uh, a bounce heavy deck. It's like, all right, here we go. You want to try that? Let's do it. I'm gonna just try to hit extra hard here. If he wants to bounce it, I'm fine with that. Okay. 
It lose a wee bit of tempo. We'll drop this, get another clue, and really start drawing into stuff later. Hopefully, that's the theory anyway. Lock here. We've got quite a defensive hand. We don't want to see any more lands or journeys. We just want more creatures. To Manicfold's point earlier. Oh, that's very true, Manicfold. I think it's just one of those things. You can, you can. Ooh, look at this. That's a nice fat target. Well, he's probably. Well, no, he doesn't have any familiars out. So this is good times. Now this is when I think Nichols really hit it out of the park because if we do have that little soldier where you must block and you drop this dude, bam! It's just. It's like having a doom blade on a stick. It's pretty cool. Just in case, I'm going to try to, at least we know kind of what his angle is here. Yes, phone. Hello. What is going on here? You... My phone is on the fritz. I've got to get a new one. Let's see. A bounce of this, baby. I'll make sure to put this on a target. And it's almost like the Cavalry Drill Master has haste. Yeah, it's a two on body, but when it comes out, it gives its power to another creature. Of course, that's not how it's worded, but it's close enough. And bam, just like that, it feels like you have a two one hasted creature, except he's just kind of sharing his ability. I don't know if I go that far, Hex and Rouge, about best removal in the format. And the right deck, and the right draw, it can, it can definitely, Fade Away can definitely feel just oh my god, what just happened sort of sort of card, but just similar to Macabre sometimes when you're trying to play aggro and you're just holding it, that can happen too. Ooh, 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 man, oh man. Well, you know what, if he has a uh, bounce effect, I want him to use it here. And I'm getting a little willy-nilly with my journeys. It's just because we've got three clues out and we have kind of have them on the ropes and white's not present. Like trickery here is interesting, but we can at least ping for one. I'm going to drop the drill. Drop the drill. Oh, that has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I'm going to drop the drill. Drop the drill. Since we have so many bodies out that are the ones, I'm thinking we hold back on Javelin Ears for uh, snap reasons. We can take out our Drill Master or itself. See what happens here. Good call. All right. Drop the drill. That is catchy. Any uh, rappers out there? Or such. Ooh, look at this play. Interesting. Okay. Down it comes. Boing. Nice plays. Taking out the inspector. All right. Two cards in hand. Don't have much graveyard play. I'm so used to playing bully that I'm like, go ahead and mill me. It's like, I'm going to have a good time drawing cards while you mill me. Wink, wink. Yeah, no familiars out, so he's kind of playing with, uh, how shall we say, just and fair mana. Good way to put it. They probably got some technology going on here. Let's remember that there is a mountain in their hand. Maybe they have a problem with affinity. I don't know. Bring it in for that. Three toughness stuff. Javelin ears. You know, I always want to cut those cards. Javelin ears always find a way to be relevant, don't they? Just that one extra damage is just like, hey, what's going on? All right, Sage's Row, get out of here. One less blocker is a good thing. Attack! Ruah! This is not a good deck to bounce stuff against. Most of our things have come into play tapped abilities and uh, turns into some good times. All right, pay our dues here. Drop this here. We're going to start tripping clues. Hiya. I think I mentioned it last week. If there's a uh, Coke Zero sponsor out there and you want a nice avatar of Twitch gaming, please hit me up. I am like stuck on this stuff so hard. My wife was a little shocked at how how many were gone from the pantry. I was like, nope, that's me, sorry. Going way too into this stuff. We're gonna trip a clue. Let's try to find some aggro here. Okay, that feels, boy, did that show up just in time. Actually, a little late, right? We could trip a clue, drop an inspector, drop an inspector, trip a clue. What's the best case scenario? We trip it. Well, we could trip it and find one of our three leftover mutagenics. 
which he'll probably block the drill master. We don't trip it. We don't really represent much other than a uh, end of turn thing. I'm thinking I'm going to trip this. <laughs> Stop the alcohol. Got hooked on Pepsi Zero. Nice. I'm going to let's see if we can pull off some magic here. And I, I kind of want to bait the uh, macabre play here. All right. Well, if a plane was here, that would have been pretty cool. But instead, we're just going to go like this and f let our opponent just feel like they're, they've got all the time in the world because we're all tapped out. Interesting. Oh, see, good player. It's not going to fall for the uh, mutagenic play there. Doink. Yeah, that was right, Hexen. Hexen, I should just start asking you before each play what to do because so far I think you've been right the majority of the time. Ouch! All right, well, at least we can stop a bit of the shenanigans here if we can kill that thing. Let's hope we can. We can't attack, which kind of makes things a little relaxing. Let's pitch this, draw a card. All right, well, we've got on blockers here. Um, let's rock here and here. Kind of want to keep tap or tapping out just so he feels very relaxed and like, oh, I got, I can do X, Y, and Z here. And it's like, no, you can't. All right, so here we go. Stone Orange shows up. We can't do anything. Let's make sure he's targeting the flicker. I'm sure he is. We will discard the fairy macabre. Go from here. We'll take that and probably snap. Soink. One card in our opponent's hand. Thankfully, it's not Ghostly Flicker. So he might have to play an honest game after next turn. Score! A Lethe Blonde Beer. Interesting. I've never been too much into beers. I appreciate the brewing. I've been to a few brew houses with friends and stuff. I just... Uh, more of a wine guy. Trip it. All right. Hey, I like this a lot. I'm going to play this first. Then I'll play the uh, cartouche. We don't have any uh, dudes here. Well, let's do it this way. We can assume that maybe this last one is our other fairy macabre, right? Three seemed right. But if we go to game three, I will bring in the fourth. That is for sure. What's under here? I guess we'll find out once it flips. Donk. The faithful shows up, starting to gain some life. A lot of disenchants. All right. A lot of four bodies. I'm not sure the javelineers are that great of tech against this deck, but hey, like I said earlier, it just has a way of showing up. It's a nice flicker answer, right? Okay, deep analysis. Kind of pays for itself there. Minus, and it's going to end up costing one life to draw four cards. The hard casted barons again. Interesting. Damn, that ghostly flicker shows up again. Well, we don't have an answer for it this time, folks. I wish it. I wish the uh, standard bear worked on that, but that's mostly there for snap tricks. Flicker shows up. We're going to drop that inspector, trip the clue, and hopefully we find the other answer for it. If not. It's going to get ugly. Man, we're five minutes down. I better stop chap chatting. <laughs> All right. Let's play this. Go overzealous here. Drop the clue. Hmm. It's not going to do us any good in our hand. And we will sit back. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. we and have them dead if they could have electricity. They do have red after all, and that would pretty much wipe our side of the board here. Hmm. All right, the tempo's starting to build. We can at least bluff that we've got macabre, but it's not going to do much of anything. You either have it or we don't in this scenario. Stonehorn lockdown. Gotta drop the drill. Come on, Javelineers, can't you do more than that? Boy, there's some pretty cool spells in the new set. There's that new Oz Orshove, I always say. I know I'm saying it wrong. That's that new instant. It's like 
do this or this or this or this to kill a creature. It's pretty awesome. What was that called? It was called... Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, can't even read my own writing. Terrible. All right. Here we are. That feels pretty good. Good enough to bring out. Might be able to uh, make that hit hard enough to do something about something. But until then, we're just kind of stuck in the water here. Doink. Life shows up. Come on. We really need a macabre here. One, two, three. Inspectors down. A lot of clues. I know we replayed one with the... Uh, or did we? Hmm. Well, that sage row, to keep him alive, he needed to uh, get the god's pharaoh out of there, but... He's running oblivion rings. We're running oblivion rings. Here comes a... Uh, Closely flickered for sure. Ooh, manic fold. Holiday's treating you nicely. That'd be pretty interesting. I was thinking that today when I was looking over this list, because I, I think the only thing I changed, I took out the, I had two bone splitters since the last time I played it, and just threw in the number three and four of the journey to nowhere for the uh, Gurmag Angler thread out there, but. Made me start thinking when I looked over uh, Alkalites. It was like, man, that would be cool if there was a Sapphire Alkalite. We can't attack. We can't do anything. But I'm going to keep this in hand so we can front that we have something. Not too worried about our uh, clock here. We've got to, we'll probably, if we lose this one, we'll be at like nine minutes, I would guess. It's plenty of time. Heck, three is probably enough for this deck. Well, that's a good point, too, Hex and Rouge. Thank you for that. They might mail themselves. This is Droop. You know he's probably got four snaps in his hand, so down goes that. Okay. Problem is they can just keep returning that. Doing, doing. Forget to bounce. Come on. Those abilities of the stone horn are so nasty because they stack. Remember the very first time I ran into a really good pilot with this list or similar list and they they went crazy one turn and then they didn't and i thought oh they forgot and it's like nope the ability stacked too so it's like i was locked out for like 15 turns i was like oh my goodness that's terrible yeah i think we're gonna have to go the mill plan here it's gonna be at 15 life pretty darn soon maybe they've uh maybe milling is their only answer who knows Flicker shows up, same two targets, and they usually only run two flickers, so if we do draw another Macabre, now you see, who was it, Manic Fold? I want that fourth Macabre, see, that might have been the difference here, might have been able to shut it off by now. We had him down to like, what, I think it was five life, maybe four, doesn't matter when they start doing these shenanigans, I understand the, the theory, we might be able to kill him before that even goes down, but uh, I don't know. My experience, wee bit of wishful thinking. These decks tend to be a little consistent enough. I want to, I want to bring all the goods. So not much blocking going on here. He seems really um, aware of our ability to maybe cast uh, mutagenic. So I'm just going to cut those completely in game three. Look at me already acting like a loser. Minus there. And uh, because it's just buying him time, I'm going to drop this dude. Just I know it's just going to eat arrows. I think he's maybe has a plan B of a Mole Drifter or Rift Watcher attack. I know it's almost half his deck left, but hey, seven more than we're running. There we go. All right. If we can even hit for one, our Javelin here will at least turn on now. Doink! Down goes the Hawk. There's only one or two rounds where you can really hinder them with Maca. I disagree because you shut off, you shut that off at when you shut both of them off. Usually they run two. It's uh, they have to come up with Plan B pretty quick, and then they almost have to play fair. The reason these decks feel so unfair is this the recursion loop and being able to just turn every turn into like your last three. Yep. Yeah, 
this is a pretty flexible list, being able to win with flyers and such. I love the seals. Just I've, I've often said that you set them and forget them. Just doink, I'm going to put this down here, and I'll see you next week. And if something happens, I can trip it at instant speed. There's not much in Popper that can do anything about it. If I was at, like, uh, single-digit life, I might scoop in another turn or two here. It's getting pretty ridiculous, but it would be nice to be able to shut this combo off. Now, the great thing about Cobb, you just can't, can't do anything against it. So I'm going to put this on here in case he does have a bounce spell. I'm happy if he wants to trade the uh, cartouche ability for that because I can't do anything with it. I almost preferred he would have done that. Or she. Never know. Old Mac. Yeah, the burn plan might be a thing here too. Maybe run one roll in thunder and such. If four minutes up on me, I don't think this is the wisest move of me, but I'm playing a pretty fast deck, so I just want to see if Macabre shows up and if I can maybe turn this one around. Probably can't. Plus, it's just better intel, right? If he does drop a big old fireball effect, we'll know, like, hey, maybe that's his finished card, and we have a rune of protection for that. If we're running aggro and we don't need it, we'll cycle it. But if it turns into this stage of the game, maybe we'll do something with it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll block here. If it hits. All right. Just a desperation block there. See if I can turn on my javelin here for something. Keep playing. Good advice. Ouch. Maybe we have lost. <laughs> this is getting ugly quick. Maybe he f 6 Well, there goes some damage. Here comes some more. Watang. Drop the drill. I want that to be a thing. Dropping the drill. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's make this interesting. Make them think we got some cool spell. I don't got nothing. Boink. And then that's dead. Outside of the mold drifter, maybe afraid of mutagenic. He might let something through. Doubt it. Booyah! We we got him for three. It's an emotional win. But to trade any sort of resources, let's do this. Oh, he is playing familiar. See, we got some more intel. Good grief. Are they all hiding at the bottom of his deck? He's having a day like I have on Twitches, or Twitch outings, I should say. Hmm. Yield through the stern. Have fun doing your thing. Our javelineers out of commission. We don't have a macabre. Not sure if they can finish us off in time, so we'll try to play it both. Some tough familiar appeared. Thank goodness most lists only run two of those. I'd be tempted to throw at least three in. It is the uh, meat of the deck, right? Uh, we'll stay back on this. This one you do wish you had Sins Enlistment. Not that it would really do much here. Yield. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Just kidding. All right, definite. So at this stage, this is almost useless. Let us see. Maybe we, uh, yeah, let's try this because if he flickers it, he has to draw cards. Does Moldrifter say may? I think it says draw. Draw. All right, cool. Draw some more. This math is not adding up. I wish we had our own Sage Road Denizen. Got 
Come on, Skyfisher. That'll at least take some arrows out of the equation. We are dead meat here. Yield through this turn. Take a whole lot of damage. Pop. Bam. Almost insulted when they're ahead of time on me and they're playing all these tricks and such. This will just eat. Yield through this turn. I said yield through this turn. I hate when it does that, especially when you have like three seconds left. It's like, didn't I just say? It's like, are you sure you want to do that, boss? It's like, yes, that's why I did it. <laughs> Bam. Lose the game because of it. We're pretty far from that happening, but it's off to game three as I feared. Let's go. All right. More yielding. No, we don't want to block. Don't want to do much of anything. Leave us alone. All our intel is sufficiently gathered. We've got about eight minutes flat to beat them in game three. We'll try this. Uh, let's bring this back. Let's play this. All right. Well, let's draw a card. Let's concede. Okay, game three. Round two. Trying to go pull to one and one. Is this really working my clock here? Nope, nope, it's not moving. Okay. Begin sideboarding. Now we know fully what we're up against. Aura fractures are going to be pretty nice. Be able to pull that up. Oh, I did take them all up. Oh, I thought I still had them. Cartouches can probably go. Let's see. Aggro, 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 aggro. A little bit. Pink defense. Oblivion rings. I just want to be able to stop that. The beast. I'm thinking this is the way to roll. Hmm. Loving me the drill master. I sure wish we had some. Think I should lose it, Nimchimsky? I was thinking uh, the, the uh, rings and journeys we saw. Yeah, you guys are right. That's folly. Another creature would probably be good. Keep it up. Deathblade can still be a thing with that. Watch we lose because <laughs> he's going to have like a really heavy enchantment draw. I'll be like, son of a bitch! <laughs> Well, the Oblivion Rings can, can hit their uh, stuff, but if Flicker shows up, we're dead. That's why we're, we're keeping um, all the stuff. Keep growth, says Manic Fold. It's very, that is true, because that can mean the difference against all the four bodies that they have. That's a good call. I like Missionary. Maybe one last journey. We've got two rings, two journeys. Yeah, our time's not going to allow for that. I'm going to lean pretty aggro here. I'm even considering losing another journey and going... Let me lose one ring. Go all mutagenics there. Try to be a wee bit aggro. The only thing we're kind of leaning on defensively is macabre. I'll just... If we got it, that's cool. Got a nice answer. We're just going to try to be the problem. And go from there. You could probably argue you could lose Acacian Javelin Ears, but there's always those games when they're down to two life. You're able to ping ping. All right. Come on. Give us a good drop. Oh, that's not that very good. We draw a land. This is good. Ah, here we go. I'm not even going to ask, ask. I'm going to mulligan. We'll keep this. I can at least hit for two in the air consistently with this hand. And we get to look at our next card. Be the problem. I know. I forget my own advice many a times. We'll keep. Come on. Show us a land. Show us a land. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't want that. Bottom. God, I love that new mulligan roll. All right. Fighting for our lives here. Let's go. <laughs> Seal of removal. Come on, give us a plane. Give us a plane. Plane, plane, plane. We want volume. Let's do this. Come on. Plane. Damn it. <sighs> K 
case they're running standard bearer. Let's bring this guy up. Early game snap. Javelineers might be a thing. Of course, I'm going to be wanting to turn them sideways more than I am going to want to be activating them. What do we got here? Ooh, okay. Damn it. Mm. Here we are. Point. Attack. Dang it, dang it. My mulligan, come on. Playing one more land than we should. What's the problem? Uh-oh. There's a snap in our future. I'm not letting that go down. Sorry, Falcon. Not falling for that tempo disaster. Ah, okay. Now then. Ay, ay, ay. While we've got an opening, I think for one a turn doesn't feel very good there, especially with Oblivion Ring behind it. That's what I was thinking there. Down this comes, all right. Oh, that kind of sucks. All right. Okay, cool. Now, let's just get the volume out there, guys. Boom, boom, that's fine. While we've got an opening here, this rated arrow is going to have to do a lot of work. This flicker shows up. We're at 13. Could be worse. Doesn't feel very confident here, though. Triple clue. Drop the drill. However you want to say it. We're in deep. Ha. All right. Decision time. It's going to block... I don't even know if it's worth that with the uh, familiar trick there. I'm pretty sure he's got ghostly in hand. That two mana up. Yeah, he could trip the hunter. He'd definitely attack first, but he could trip the hunter. I think what I want to do here is uh, trip first. We'll attack. Trip and response, maybe. Hmm. Let's trip it. Okay. Booyah. Ah, it's definitely a flicker play here. No? Interesting. Oh, I like tripping there. For sure. Alright, well, man at this stage, it's not going to mean that big of a difference having double familiar out other than the blockers. Down goes our Sky Hunter. In comes our wall. Hey, yeah, yeah. These decks always seem to get ahead of you. Snap! Doing! Starting to feel a little naked here. Please tap out. I would love our Oblivion Ring to be able to grab the wall. Of course, they're running Disenchants. Might be able to have a little bit of an out here. Of course, we don't have any offense. Ugh. Bring this up. Boink. We'll rock the wall. Get somewhat of offense gone. Man. This isn't feeling good. Mana's right. Everything's right. They've got blockers for days. They're at 8 life, but we know how quickly that can change. I disagree there, Hexen. I would think that the uh, recursion ability is what's going to keep us out of the game. Arrows can get recurred, and then it's over unless the wall shows up. Until then, all right. Well, I'm a little late to the party there, but I'm glad to see you nonetheless. I'm going to think here, and then I'm going to attack. Come on, sucker! At this point, 
that much mana, that many familiars. There's no reason to not do this. Interesting. All right. Ay, ay, ay. Multiple arrows. That's a good thing against this deck. All right. What you got? Mutagenic. Or <laughs> disenchant. No. All right. Let's grab snap and disenchant. Throw those out. Unless he's got a flicker in response. That would be brutal. Oh, boy. We bit too little, too late. Oh, man. Come on. We're really going to start 0-2 with this list? Wow. Not feeling well. I got arrows on board. I just want to make him use it till so he gets it off and he doesn't wait for Flicker to show up and start resetting it because then we're really dead to the metallic Gatling gun of arrows. One left. Maybe they use it. Maybe they got a bunch of lands. I'm not sure. Let's see what we can do. Not much of anything here. Feel bad for nickels. This is not how this deck usually represents people. Down on time. Down on cards. And here we are. This is getting out of hand quickly. Here comes the life train. I want to really get that last arrows out of there. Hmm. Well, I'll throw this on. Maybe we've got mutagenic. Who knows? I doubt this is going to be able to kill anything. We'll see. We'll probably just take it. Interesting. All right. Well, there's that. Is he going to kill it? Nope. The Discipline. Here comes the life. I would probably just let that through. Well, one of your many sunscapes. You already got two Karoo lands. Two, four, six. Six in the house. Man. Brutal. Red mana does not seem to belong in this deck. It does not need it. Mole Drifter before attack? Interesting. Guess we know what they're trying to do. Maybe time us out or... <laughs> Avalanche of card advantage. Got one card in their hand. They got six. Yep. We're going to start 0-2. I can't believe this. I expect it when I play like ultra rogue decks. This is a little roguey, but I was happy enough to bring this to a challenge and think top 20 twice with it. So it's not representing well here. Bummer. Well, maybe after the break we can uh, regroup and go three and out. Match our last week's record. I really thought we were going to do at least 4-1 with this, but... That's what makes the game so great. We just never know. You expect paper, you see scissors all day. Prepare for scissors, see rock, etc. Memnonic wall. I'm going to bring that clue back if I am able to do this. Play this dude. All right. Play this, I'm going to drop it now. Cool. Well, that part of the arrow is kind of sucks. Zoink. Hey, just in time. Now I really want him to have the other. And at least our macabre will have some fun here. Let's do this and snap. Huzzah. Do we have both of them? Flicker. Nope. There's one more. T 
Two minutes left, 18 life, probably soon to be at about 28. Man, oh man. But on the good side, we've got the most extreme elimination challenge for our first break. I think I've only played that once before, a couple months back. Good times. So I've always really been leaning towards making a, uh, a black deck aggro deck with a macabre's mane. That'd be so cool to have that ability. All right, let's do this. Let's put it on the drill master. Of course, he's probably just going to eat the last arrow, but we're fine if that goes down. Wink. We'll just rock with this. He's at 20 life. He's just like, I'll just take it. <laughs> it's like, what? Wow, all right. Oh, I know, I've got that hockey do another one there. Don't mind the macabre play there. I'm gonna block this. I want him to get rid of that damn arrow. Go ahead and use it. He's gonna use it. Okay. Come on, be dead arrows. At least next turn, right? Wham! Let's go! All these snaps. I gotta kind of lean on Inspector here. Well, ha! actually, I think I'm gonna lean on Cavalry. Oop, we'll do that. We've lost. I mean, if you're hungry, go get your pizza or whatever it is you you eat while watching the show. Cause this is we're dead in the water here. Lost a close one to Stompy. Seemed like we had this one in the bag out of the gates, but Grind City. Not enough macabs in the world. We need that to say like a deck can play any number of fairy macabre. <laughs> Just a bunch of dark rituals and wah, go air attack and then have answers for the ground. I've tried it. I have tried it. I have tried it. All right. Well, I'm going to concede here, guys. And we're going to roll to the commercial. We will submit to our opponent and go lick our wounds and be back right after this. The object of this challenge is to get across the obstacle course of challenges without getting... Dash to death! Well done, Ken. <laughs> and this is Jack Blackman, who's giving everything he's got for the organ donors. Oh, he oh. stumbles there. Oh. Oh. He's a college dude, right? Right you are, Ken. In fact, he's an organ exchange student. After a lifetime of chain smoking, he received a fresh set of lungs from a Himalayan Sherpa. Well, but at the end of the semester, the lungs must be returned and he's back on the ventilator. Student loans are serious business, Ken. Hey, this guy's looking really good. Indeed, he set an excellent pace. And there he goes, clamoring easily through the spongy bricks. Wow. You know, their blue color is deceiving, Ken. They're a lot harder than they look. And here he goes, moving nimbly past the nards of doom. There he is. Look at him, he just roughly handles those balls. He's got the rope in hand, and he's going up! A loser. Oh, indeed. And speaking of losers, there's Minnie Fister. She's a compulsive gambler and chip handler from the Chachinga Indian Reservation Casino. And there she goes, and oh my! Damn, I had 20 bucks on her. And here's Kip Smith. No! What'd he say? No idea, Ken. Kip's a tongue donor. How does he lick stamps? That's what emails work. No. Oh, he takes it on the head. Oh, oh into the grinder. <laughs> and here's Johnny Cheadle. He's win. addicted to fabric softeners. Let's go, Cheadle. Yeah. And go. he takes off nicely. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, oh, he's down there for a second. And hey, what's the big thrill with fabric softener? Well, Ken, not only are his clothes springtime fresh, but his breath is bouncy soft. Oh. And there he goes onto the trampoline. Into the sponges. He's, he's started off with tons of spunk, Vic. Indeed, wads and wads of determination. But I think he's left most of it on the course. Indeed, it does appear he is slowing down a bit. Oh, man, you know. Still struggling through, though, Ken. He is. He, boy, he is determined, but uh, I think he's done. I yeah. think he's spent. Right you are, Ken. Sadly, most addicts rarely have the character or gumption to finish what they start. And there you see he's completely given up on himself. You don't think he'll hurt himself, do you, Vic? Don't be silly, Ken. That would require too much effort. Donors rule. Next up for the donors is Dwayne Hasselhoff. And there he goes. Takes a dingo ball to the head and... Oh! What did he donate? Looks like everything now, Ken. <laughs> I'm Steve, and I'm going to win this competition for my team. Well, that's a good attitude. 
Not really, Ken. You see, Steve Smiley is hopelessly addicted to optimism. Oh, I am so good at this. Come down and oh, I can do it. Well, looks like his positive attitude's paying off here, Vic. I don't know, Ken. Self esteem is one of the most dangerous things taught in our schools today. You know that baseless self confidence kills more people in America each year than bathtubs? Hey, all you Popper fans, make sure to visit Gathering.com. They host a variety of awesome free tournaments. That's right, free. Simply find a tournament that interests you and enter. Popper Classic Tuesdays, or PCT, happens at 8 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday. Track your records, follow stats, all while enjoying a free tourney with prizes. Arctic Ghost is your host for Popper Classic Tuesdays. Follow these four steps for a free tournament experience. Also, remember to thank your host. They do this just for the love of the game. Have a great time. trying to burn some commercials instead of looking at this clock but didn't need to use the restroom or anything so I was getting a little bored but bad time to uh, come up with about a two and a half minute wait queue but we'll see what we can do here and uh, oh yeah that's right we have plenty of stuff to do today because we have the new spoiler out so we're going to go back to this so as I was saying Arrestor Zeal is pretty cool uh, just for like something like fringe rogue you know tier two or less two two gains flying pretty cool might be wrong it's an instant Pretty cool. Let me see. Wait, did it exposed to daylight was the other one. I destroyed target artifact or enchantment. Scry one. I think it's a pretty cool ability as an instant. One more than um, what do you call it? disenchant? But you're able to look a card into the future. Something they're slowly incorporating in white. So that's pretty cool. Impassioned orator is something I'm very fond of. We all know I love to play life gaining token decks. And the only way this could really get any better. As if, uh, you know, it said any creature, but it's only creatures you control. So, I don't know. It's definitely out of uh, like trickery range, so that's pretty cool. Summary Judgment's another one I marked. I'm not saying these are all the ones. I'm sure Red Edit and places like that have plenty to say on these. But for two mana, of course, it's always that tapped quota, right? Attacking, blocking, tapped. Three damage, or it could do five, take down an angler. Pretty cool. Uh, I mean, as far as... Uh, Popper goes. That's a, that's a pretty flexible card, and then uh, tw uh, what was it? Twilight something, I think it was. Yeah, not serious about this card, but you never know. Moving forward, maybe some sort of a death touch deck where you're able to, uh, you know, Orzhov is have has so many things to play with. Uh, having a one-two doesn't fall to electricery. Kind of a nice blocker, and then you m might be able to uh, trade with anglers and such. Present day, I wouldn't build around it yet, but it's just one of those things. You know, you put on the shelf like, hey, if I ever have a super death touch idea or something actually this is one of the first f sets of cards come out in a long time that i really think blue kind of got shafted a little bit i think the persistent um what do they call that petitioners they definitely might see some play in some stuff uh, a little bit dedicated to that but let me just mark that so we know where we left off boink and hopefully here we go all right can we win please we will keep this good hand we're not playing though so here we are. Hey, Tex in the house. Good to see you. Yeah, I love most extreme elimination challenge. Those commentators just make anything funny. All right. Elves it is. Let's see our cartouche show up quickly. Javelinier's a nice follow-up. Let's at least bring that down. See if we can kill any sort of life elf here. Oblivion Ring's nice. I really, really, really want to see the uh, the cartouche show up because that Death Blade with that on it is... Usually game over unless Birchler shows up. But our Javelinier is already active, so we should be all right. Yeah, yeah, we just played it last week, Hellutech. And hopefully we can match that record today, because we went 3-2 with that. And uh, unfortunately, ooh, double querying. Yikes. I don't mind crashing and burning when I'm playing Rogue, which is a pretty common thing for me. But my goodness, if we do much worse with this, it's going to get a little frustrating. 
Ah, well, double querying, there's not much to do here. I'm thinking of playing Deathblade here just so I can um, drill master into first strike. I'm going to slow roll this a little bit. I mean, you could argue we could bring up uh, our sky power here. Block shoot. Yeah, that's what it was, Holly Tech. I mean, I, I adjusted it. I think I lost Pester Might, and I went with the um, uh, Miscreant package just so you could turn on Ninja a little bit faster and lower the curve. Did all right. We had some luck go our way, unlike today. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to play this. There's more things in this deck that can help that, that kind of a play out. I'm going to sit back. I'm happy to two for one here if he wants to attack, which isn't the way of elves. Methonical just got second with elves. Second only to the Boros Bully yet again. Janice Stone shredding it up. And along with old timer, uh, what was it? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go crazy here. Let's block here. And we'll shoot. Doesn't know we've got Drill Master here, so hopefully we can get a little two for one action here. With our Oblivion Ring not too far behind. It's got plenty of mana. It's probably protecting a Well Wisher with this attack phase. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Two cards left. Let's turn this dude on. I'll bring back Skyfisher next turn. We don't really have a 1-2 play with it. Like, we can't bounce it back, play a 1-drop, that sort of thing. Okay. I guess we can do this. Try to get an elf. They can just tap it in response. It's fine. At least we'll get some intel. Dun, dun, dun. Illegal! Must block! Or you could just tap it. What were a lot of elves is now almost none. Of course, Huntmaster could show up. We've got Journey for that. Alright. That could have definitely gone worse the way today's going, but hey. That's what the first game last round started like, right? Wonk, wonk, wonk. Think so, Nimchinski. Alrighty. Well, we didn't show too much of our flyers off. Really like the removal package here. Got to lean on that a bit. Um, I'm actually going to bring in Aura Fracture. One of the main things I learned playing a lot of uh, weenie strategies is they can really kill you with the main card, which is, drum roll, Spider Silk Armor. So I just want one option for that. Uh, might be nice to gain some life, but I'm not going to overdo it here. These are great. These are great. This is amazing in conjunction, as is this gonna lose anything maybe a mutagenic I'm just gonna keep it real simple like that oh standard bear what am I talking about and yeah, we'll bring in two of those let me bring out maybe one drill master and I mean a oblivion ring you could argue we could grab the uh, the uh, enchantment with the spider silk armor so I'm not quite sure if aura fracture let's wait and see if it happens we got two answers in two oblivion rings we'll lean on that go from there yeah. Thank you, Nimchemsky. Yes, I think caffeine's hit me a little too heavy. Isn't that supposed to help? It's masking. Or we could have Emerald Alkalites. Target creature gains protection from green. That'd be pretty cool. I was very tempted to play Infect today, as I usually am. Really enjoy... Uh, I've been messing around with Grapple with the Past. I For so long when I read that, I thought it was... You look at three cards, you choose one. It's like, if your graveyard's full, you get a whole lot more options there. We're going to keep this. Going to lead out with our Javelineers and hope for the best. Got reset value in the Skyfisher. Going to make him, ooh, that's number one as far as our um, Provoke Soldier goes. We do not want to see that dude out there. So we're going to drop this. We might even consider trading. Since Sunlands are Holy Light, good sideboard. It It is and it isn't. I don't think it really blows out any matchups unless you just know that there's a bunch of goblins or elves about and even then I'm just not the, not the biggest fan of it Sunlance is interesting it can can make things valid yeah I think we're just gonna shoot here I'm gonna drop that ranger something quick 
Ooh, mainly because of I'm really afraid of that turning that into mush. So I'm gonna wait till I've got it. So let's shoot. I'm just gonna reset the javelin here. Some elf technology comes down. We'll at least be able to handle it next turn. Represent a little bit of aggro here. I think if Nichols didn't build this and I did, I would have probably been kind of stuck in my mode of thinking of, you know, prismatic, at least maybe two in the side, maybe three, maybe even some show up main, not quite sure, but Timber Watch, Sentinels, Elves, and Birch Lore again. All right, well, we're going to have to lean on that, aren't we? Let's have some fun. We'll attack here. We're just going to play all three drops. Boom, boom, boom. This feels kind of cleansing, right? Drop this. Drop this. Drop this. Pow! I like me now. It can feel like an elf killer when it shows up, but there's plenty of times it can get run over too, as we saw around one. Good draws against or with Stompy. Okay. Let's drop the Sentinel out of the plan. Ranger shows up. Man, I hate that card. Ways are going to shoot that real quick. I really, really, really want my uh, cartouche to show up. Throw it on the back of that Deathblade Elite and go to town. One man out of focused. Three comes out. Up. Oh, it's not the Land of War Elves. It's the Mystic Elf. We'll keep that in the queue. Down comes some more. Yeah, in scenarios like this, it Holy Light is awesome, but only against this one deck, and then just one of the uh, Spider Silk Armors, and it's over. Just sits in your hand, staring at you. But, similar to our last game with the... Uh, oops, clear this out. With the uh, Multiple Macabre, there are scenarios when all these things are relevant. So, what do I know? All right, decision time. Whoo, boy, am I glad I drew that. I was about to trip stuff. Let's do this. Before I attack, I'm going to shoot that Birch Lore because that's, that's his way out. Helps to play the deck that you're... Com yeah, what am I trying to say? Competing against? All right. Let us... Uh, you know what? Just in case. Yeah, that's folly. Let's go like this. Boom, boom. Come here, you... I'll grab this. Yes! You must block before you can be awesome. Definitely, if you're in this scenario, take down Birch Lore as soon as you can. For that reason, they can tap in response. Then they don't have to block your dude. Boing! Now we can fog. So this is kind of a cool ability here. Let's see. One, two, three equips it. Three gets you another one. I could save it here. The first strike damage has happened. Yes, that is true. That is true. First strike damage has gone gone off. Um, so I'm considering preventing this. It's going to really have to kind of invest in this turn to kill it next turn. Or I could have another flyer. Oh, boy. What do you guys think? I could prevent the normal damage. We've already killed the uh, Timber Watch. He equips, shoots, plays something, shoots. I think he kills it either way. Ah! Let's fog. Just with that. It's a nice little trick. At least cost a whole lot of tempo on the other side of it. We still have normal damage here. All right. Let's see how terrible of a decision that was. Maybe it was good. Maybe it was bad. It goes the longbow plan. Ooh, the decision tree here. Come on, come on. Another cartouche. Yeah, 
Verdant and Longbow, such a good card. I always wanted to make a good infect list with that, where it's like, yeah, set up your blockers, bing, 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 throw in some proliferate, and be done with it. It's got one now. It's got a free green spell. And Elvish Mystic going to trigger it. Interesting. He doesn't have a one drop here. Okay. That's strange. Hmm. Yeah, I thought there would be a ping there too. We're getting uh, lucky here. Rakakali, however you say your name. Sorry about that. So, uh, let's see. We attack there. The problem is if I, you know, use the provocability on, on the Sentinel, we're really screwed. Let me uh, drill master here. Let's play it on. Uh, let's get rid of some elves. Go after that well wisher because everything else can do something. Yeah, we'll rock like this. Blow this up, hopefully. Come on. Just have lands. Of course, if they had them, they would have played it because then they would have been able to double tap. Maybe they're on a gin and tonic or three. He shoots the man. Okay. Yeah, I want to use that ability. Let's blow some stuff up. Kill it. Kill them all. Pow. And smash. Okay. Oh, so that's going to cost two. I'll return the Javelinier Man. And it'll probably eat later. Boink. All right. Here we are. 11 19. Depending on their hand, they could get ugly still. Huntmaster shows up. Ouch. Come on, have have just a land left. Make sure not to provoke a uh, nettle sentinel. You get poked pretty bad. Keep bing, bing, bing. Keep shooting you with that. All right, all right. Here we go. Interesting. And trip this first, see if we can, can't get some tricks. Hmm. Let us see. Moist clams in the house. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I wish we were playing that well. All right. Not playing that well, just having better luck. I haven't really punted too much. I don't think, I'm sure we could point out one or two issues. All right, so we got air superiority here. We can attack and do some stuff. The way this guy's playing, I'm tempted to attack that sentinel because I don't know if he knows that trick. Tapping it in response, being able to shoot something. Hmm. Well, happy new year. <laughs> I'm on a white dream. All right. We have already played planes. Darn it. That's just, um, Yeah. Let's uh let's attack 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 Go from here. Now the question. You think he knows the trick? Let's see if he does. It's kinda dead regardless. I can always uh fog it. Okay. Good for him. Deals one damage to that. Okay. That's fine. 
we won't use the ability then. We'll say no. And go from here. Of course, it's still kind of dead if he does anything else here. Because we're at least asking him to have a green spell. What's he got? Anyone, anyone? Ah, he's calling our bluff and it's going to work. Or is it? Let's keep him alive. That's, that's too good of a target for that. We'll be happy doing four. We'll drop our javelin here. It'll probably die to a nice, nasty, rusty arrow to the throat on the battlefield. Next turn we'll go crazy. Till then, that Death Blades represents too much meanness. Maybe they've got a forest. Maybe they're drawing another one. Maybe the Sentinel is off staring and doing nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, if he attacks that Huntmaster, that's a triple block if you ever saw one. They run many of the other spells there. Just like if I would have ran Elves while t streaming on Twitch, I'm sure I would draw nothing but lands too. It was a neat thing I ran into over the week. I put that little poking fun at myself video up about uh, land destruction. There's a just kind of a, what do they call that? A point of no return. You know, I was cutting down the lands to a point where it was like, okay, I'm running like elf numbers. I'm like at 11 or 10 lands, some land grants to fuel some tricks and stuff. And then you start, if you pile up the list of, you know, okay, I'm not using lands, but I have land enchantments. I have ways to untap the land. I have, and you add those up. It was like half the deck. And it's like, oh, I could just have really consistent mana. I don't know. It's weird. I wish somebody would write an article about that. Well, diminishing returns scenario. All right, that feels really good. Yeah, let's do this all day long. Yeah. Well, I've already got a Sky Fisher, so I'm going to get rid of a blocker, and I'm going to aim at the uh, artwork I like least. Let's do this. This is true. This is true. What's he doing here? How's he doing? That was an old target location to have Oh, I see. Yeah, all right. That's fine. It's one less blocker. I got the skyfish, but I'm not too concerned with that. What I'm concerned with is killing elves. Let's rock like this and pull this on here. Get this dude out of the way. He might have blocked that way anyway, just with Metagenic in the house. Yeah, I want to use the ability. Let's go. Pinged White Provoke. Yeah, yeah. And first strike, so don't wait for the noise. Not that I have noises on. Okay, we're happy doing this. That's fine. And then we're going to go here. Take two life and kill his best dude. Probably return the uh, cartouche. Throw it right back on the dude again. Damage happens. Here we are. Bring out a skyfish. Uh, yeah, well, let's just make sure. Play a little slow here. We'll return the cartouche. We'll play the cartouche. Get a new dude out of it. Looks like we're playing white elves, but ours fly and can do stuff. We'll go hellbent. Really put it to him here. I don't know, outside of a what do you call it? A uh, lead the stampede with a spider silk draw. All right. So we 2 0 elves. Oops. Put that up. Off to round four. Let's see how that goes. And we'll go back to the list here. So we're leaving off on persistent petitioners. So we'll hit play and then we'll run over here. And yeah, these guys, pretty cool list. I mean, it, it's that ravenous rats or whatever they're called where you can have any number of them. My point with this is that at 1 3 is pretty burly. I mean, Augur Bolas and such, that's, that's some significant ground control. And if you have an unlimited number of those, I mean, Augur Bolas and Seagate Oracle, these are roadblocks I've run into for years. And it just, it's like, oh, damn it, you always have to pull that one trigger to get rid of them. But the only other creature I think is, or card, I should say, um, see where my loyalties lie, is that, where is it, that other, that Fey? Um, I wrote it down here. The Fey Duelist. There it is. Not the greatest card, but we'll go. We'll come back to it in just a minute. 
Thankfully, the leagues are firing pretty good today. Off to round four. Let's see what we got. He hustles in the house. All right. Definitely ghost. We'll keep. Probably with quite an advantage. Shiraz says he is constantly watching, so we'll see about that. Let's rock with this. Non simo. Good time. All right, swamps up. I'm expecting a TE list, but we never know. Mm. Too much caffeine. Commune shows up. All right. Let's get stuff started here. Put this on this. And this here, and attack. Stink we won't save now, but graveyard's the problem. So when Oblivion Ring does feel good, with the uh, Tortured Existence engine hopefully being thwarted. Love this mug, but God, I wish it didn't say Starbucks on it. Doesn't from this side, does on the other. Okay. I say we just remove creatures here. Go for the jugular. I'll drop the ring. Discard your way out of that. All right. Point. And we'll attack. Nice thing with first strike in that stinkweed. Good way around it. What we really got to be worried about is not of the bone, I would think. I don't think he's ever run it in his list, but that's something I don't want to see. All right. Let's attack. Madness shows up. Good times, good times. Grabbing the brown scale. Here comes the life plan. Gonna make me regret using that oblivion ring. Bam. Down goes our javelin here. All right. We'll drop these guys. And hope for the best. Fume spitter. Very good card. Lighten it through. Sky Hunter shows up. Hmm. Let's rock there. <laughs> you are right, Wang Chung. He's very good at playing this deck. Let's, uh, Hmm. Nah. We'll do that. Say nope. Yeah, Crypt Rats. Yeah, that fume spit and just keep coming back and back and back. Good card. All right. And there we are. We'll bring out this and sit back. Troll or no troll, make no mistake. Like I've said for years now, he's 
plays this one deck and he plays it really well. Boy, are we going to want our fairy macabres, right? Wink, wink. Probably another good list against that. All right. Yeah, his graveyard's active. I got to go air power time here. Not much on our side of like life gain, so don't really want to kill these guys. They're better on the board than in the yard. Oh, too much carbonation. Whew, sorry about that. All right. Our dudes are getting weaker. The soft lock has achieved. Down goes our provoked man. Boing. All right, let's do this, play this. I don't think we can win this one from this position. Uh, hmm. Nope. Yeah, no, when this thing gets going, well, it's similar to the uh, flicker effect where it's just got extra value out of each card. Yep. Not much to do here. If we can turn that off, we might be able to live. Keeping Graves Cravelers out, we can at least hopefully keep uh, instant tricks of blockability from showing up, but great card. Love the Tusker. They can both be countered, uh, Geller. There's situations where each one is better. Yeah, this one's slipping out of our hands quick. That helps. Rock like this. Now then. Um... Yeah, probably not worth it. All right. It's Shiraz in the house. Super value with the Tusker recursion. I got no answer game one. Here we go. Just curious if we're being watched, Shiraz. Long over here. Up on time, at least. Bam. <laughs> Poof. All right. Yeah, these aren't doing as much good here. Nor are they pingers. Yeah, we're not going to win here with that. I'm going to give this one to him. He can hate on us. I'm not going to hate on him. He's a very good pilot of this deck. So hats off to you. You got me that game. Boink. Boy, our day's been going right. All right. Let's go to game two. See what we can see. Hmm. These are going to be pretty good. I think the Alkalites might come in. Macabre for sure. Or a Fracture I like. Now I know he runs the Caterpillar. So I'm going to lean a little less on Journeys. Taking one out. Not too worried about Metagenics in this matchup. Let me see. Javelin is not that good either. I lose those. Fume spitters are a problem. I'm trying. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I just can't, other than fume spitters and such, I don't think the javelin airs are going to do too much. So, we're going to bring in two mutagenics. Hold it to Macabre, or a fracture is going to show up. I'm sure, I'll get eaten by a caterpillar eventually, but it's a nice, nice thing to have. Hopefully, I can get them before. Death Blade's nice. The first strike, we definitely don't want to touch that. Drill Master, Journey can mop some stuff up. All right. Ah. Such a specialist deck, you don't see it all that often. It used to be popular about five, six years ago. Format was a wee bit slower then. But like any deck against the right meta, or right decks, I should say, ah, you can have some pretty good results with it. Yeah, we want to play first. All right, we'll keep this. Problem is, we're a pretty dead dog to a few things in his list, which are uh, fume spitters, primarily one of them. All right. Let's uh, let's lead off with the Falcon here. We'll turn on our Death Blade next turn with the Inspector behind it, maybe. Hopefully they can like get stuck on mana a little bit. Who knows? Jungle Hollow in the house. All right. We're gonna lead off with our Soldier plays so that we can start doing stuff. Death Blade. I'm sure, Fume Spitter's right behind. I want to eat an elite. It's when I try to build zombies in the uh, kind of the rogue side of things, there it is. It's always fun to see um, there's that new one that it has to die to do it. And you always, whenever you play it, you miss Fume Spitter. You're like, ah, I can just do that at any time I want. It's like, what's going on here? Okay. Yeah, let's go. You can at least make them block. Yup. He'll block and kill the Falcon, probably. We could trip for a mutagenic. Not sure that's going to show. Our problem creature's still there. We only hit one. We'll get another guy out. Don't want that fume spitter coming back, but next turn we'll probably trip the clue and hope for some sort of uh, ability to get rid of the graveyard here combination of that good blockers killing stuff life gain and in the hands of a good pilot it's a daunting thing i tell you discard outlet has shown up dead weight shows up and just like that three mana good creature discard outlet it's feeling weird already all right does he want to lose that many cards hmm I'm going to save that for later. We'll rock like this and just pass the turn. Get some air power going. Smoked all the other last night. Oh, <laughs> Wang Chung 4 and Shiraz going back. Alrighty. Let's see what you can see. Scrambler. Stinkweed. Present. Alright. Let's get the discard of the Scrabbler. We've got to be prepared for that. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting option, isn't it? Let's do this. For... We'll say this. We'll come over for these. Yeah. Rock like this. Ha! Ah, let's see. We do need what you call it to show up. That would require a draw. All right. Play this pass. Probably EOT Scrabbler showing up. Lot of targets for that. All right. 
They dog the negative effects. That's for sure. Until TE shows up, let's see. Keep them honest. Stink weeding. Down it goes. Hmm. Mm. Well. Sure. Let us do that. We'll attack. That's fine. Cool, cool. Three left. I'd rather draw here than, um, hmm. Next turn. Caterpillar might show up, make things relevant. We can at least attack with the Death Blade and keep things going or not. There's another fume spitter. And take it. I grew up watching Sesame Street, says Nim Chimsky, but it went differently for you. Well now. Discard outlet. Keep him honest. If he's got something main, let's see what it is. Nope. All right. I'll attack. Fine with that. Yeah, let's use it. Might as well do it now. Oh boy, those like us today. One caterpillar and we're dead meat. Let's do this just to draw the card. There we go. That feels a little less naked now. I think we're going to pull even. I don't think we're favored here. Glad to get one there. We shall see. All right. Discuss. Got to use the restroom. Be right back. The enchantment question. I know they run Caterpillar. I think one. Da -da -dun. Hey, a minute left. What's the Sesame Street talk? I haven't caught up. All right, that stuff sucks. I kind of missed seeing mutagenic, but not that much. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Everybody's quiet, so let's do it. I like his chances better than us. Mm. Mainly, like I said, when you're a specialist in one thing, it helps a lot 
Boy, if we drew another land, this would be a great hand. You know what? I'm leaning on keeping this. We're on the draw. We've got the elite cartouche combo instead of a wild mongrel. Hey, that's what feels different. What are these doing here? Hey, that helps. Oh, uh, I'm on the draw. I've got options there. I'm going to keep. I might live to regret that, but hey. Beam Spitter shows. Let's see what he wants to take down. Come on. One more plane. Two more, maybe. That'd be nice. Graveyard is suddenly relevant. Stinkweed, stinkweed. Fume spitter. Ah. Mongrel in the hand. All right. Yeah, Mongrel's pretty good against us. <laughs> Say that about almost all of his creatures. All right. Well, there's an obvious target for that, right? Let's bring this out. Maybe we can get some two damage in. Paying the price. Okay. It's dead. Only good thing is I've got access to Macabre. Dismiss this. That shows up. Not the best hand here. Jeez, oh, Pizzo, this is ridiculous. Let's try to win by birdies. Probably not going to happen. Let me do this. Turn those off. That's not nice. Hmm. Good grief. I'm really paying for keeping a one lander, darn it. My own fault. Try to go aggro. Rock here. <laughs> Nimia said it all. I'd give him all for just a plane, though. He's got four land access already. Rats on board. My money's on him. Or her. Hey, we never know that, right? All right. Two damage shows. I'll bring this here. Ooh, the last bit of pain shows. Damn. All right. Well, you would think that he's playing land destruction if you look at this board. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Let's bring one out for aggro, one out for pain. I don't think we're going to live that long. We'll see. Hey, he might have two lands. Maybe he's getting flooded. Our ring might be able to grab that mongrel. Who knows? We have uh, infinite blocking on our side here. If we had a lot of land, but we don't. Hmm, Wickerboro shows up. All right. That's right. There's that dude, too. Ha. All right. Hmm. 
not looking good here. Drillmaster represents an empty hand, though. Yeah, I'll put it to him. Let's see. Gotta pitch his whole hand to make this not go down. Let's see how it works. Probably not in our favor, but it's better than doing nothing. Yeah, we want to use this ability. Let's go. Okay. Is the other thing that important? Boom. It is. So he's hellbent now. All right. It's dead. Let's get rid of this and this before all the other things go down. And we're going to take half our life total next turn. Glad to pull this for random cards. Come on, give us a land. That's another mongrel. Yeah. We are dead meat very soon here, my friends. Bring this in. Come on, give us another land so we can at least start... What is it called? Blocking! Oh, I don't think it's fixed. Of course, it could be ghosted. Sure wouldn't put that past. Not that it would help us with me keeping one landers, but... All right. I haven't seen TE at all. It's hiding. Ah, okay. Well, this is uh, very frustrating. We can get rid of his discard outlet and the Wickerboro. We have to die. Hope he draws lands. <laughs> this is true. No, it's just, I, like I said, there's a lot of haters. Actually, there isn't. This is our main guy, and he's very good at playing this deck. I've said it publicly for years, so we, uh, we face off every once in a while. He's gone for years at a time, so, but like I said, this is the only deck the guy plays, so that's why I say my money's on him. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, Journey the Wickerboro, block the Mongrel. I think that's kind of our only role here. Hopefully we draw another land, but then we're just like gone, gone. At least this is out of the graveyard. Didn't know you had a hater. Yep, that's the one. Shiraz claims he's pretty much in, in the chat of every show. I don't even know how to look up that stuff. And our new uh, YouTube guy, every once in a while, get comments just saying like, He's back. It's just like, huh? what are you going to do? You know, I had a really good comment the other day. Somebody was like, you've got about 3,000 fans and one of these guys. It's like, not that bad of a problem to have. The big question is, just what does he have against? Other than not wanting to join his clan a few years ago. I can't put my head around it. All right. Well, I'll do this. Skyfisher will die. We'll play this. Clans are kind of a silly thing on MTGO. There's enough tribalism in the world, right? Two down. I got a block. I would really like to get another land, but with two cards in hand, well, one of them's a land. This is not looking good, my friends. Boink. Helps a bit. This would be one hell of a comeback if it happened. I don't think it will, though. We're hellbent. They've got one. Our mana's finally on board. Is it a reprieve? Do we have hope? Yay! Look at this. We can return a land. We're at three life. This is not feeling good. Yeah, at least we got a blocker. Okay, no more lands. <laughs> TE hasn't shown up. I mean, it could be worse. We could be dead already. I thought we would be. Really leaning heavily on our enchantments here. Hey, we'll 
we'll go for there and see what happens. Only seven more turns. Is that how they're spelling it these days, Wang Chung 4? Let's get some more paint on board. Forget who it was, but it was a few, what was it? Probably months ago, I caught somebody being a little propaganda tribalism. I mean, our name says it all, right? And we're all friends, blah, blah, blah. But it was, it's just kind of, a, you know, you got to catch yourself doing that too. All right. Ugh, that's ugly. Well, at least we have a blocker. Dead weight. Man, where's our ninjas, right? Tribalism is pretty much what's happening in all of America. <laughs> Left versus right, us versus them. I don't even mean it in a magic term. Tribes are pretty cool in magic, but man, they really make people narrow-minded and blindsided in, a, in real life. Hmm. Well, that's useless there. How many more sky fishers do I have? Three. I don't really have a target for that. That's not going to do anything. All right. We'll let it go. Maybe we'll block. Maybe we won't. Let's see what our next card is. It's a nail biter. A lot more competitive than I thought it would be, given the lists. And like I said, his expertise with the list. I'm surprised we got a game here. Oh, no. Here we are. They can sacrifice those to kill. I, uh, one of our, we had somebody play this against uh, in the green land destruction deck. Very cool card. Might be where you saw the list, but it says sacrifice the Ophis, which is always an amazing ability, right? Just instantaneously be able to do stuff. And you can nab stuff with its power. Pretty awesome. So first we're going to try to uh, journey to nowhere it, right? Yeah. Because if he wants to kill our Sky Fisher, this will be a good test if he's ghosting or not, right? Boom, boom. There it is. That works too. <laughs> Here we are with this. Could have maybe done that in the other order. I was thinking the opposite. Not every day you see that card. We are up against it. Down to one life. We have to kill our one good guy. Ah, it's terrible. A lot of cool prospects on the job front. I think we're dead here, guys. Mongrel's coming back. Yep, not even a prismatic if we even played it could help now. We almost came back, but not enough. Hats off to you. E hustle. Not sure what the E stands for, but uh, good job. You know, would have liked to have won. Obviously, going up against our hater supreme, but there you go. Like I said, very good at that deck. If you got any questions, don't say I sent you, because talk about tribalism. But he's a very good guy to contact with. With that, too much carbonation. My good. Yeah, one of you is teasing. E is for envy. All right. All right, well, we're losing. We've only won one game with White Nickel's list. This is just blows my mind. Ah, drives me nuts. Off we go. You know what? Maybe we should, uh, I've got, we've only got one more round left. Ah, we've got the spoiler to be looking at here. Let's rock with this. So yeah, the duelist, I don't think it'll see much play. There might be some cool rogue list where you go all in on blue, just flash, 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 and that sort of thing. We'll see. Black was our next up. These are just things, you know, first thing, Blade Juggler was pretty cool. Just another way of uh, Pyrexian Ranger number five, six, seven, and eight. And Undercity's Embrace, where was it? T. 
Understood. He's embrace. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. Two and a black instant. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you gain four life. Just another nice uh, edict effect. I'm not saying it's going to see play. Just saying, you know, it's one of those things. Keep in the woodwork. Put on the sh put on the popper shelf of things. Red. We got skewer something or other. I just wrote skewer. Oh yeah, that that firebolt skewer card. Uh, rumble reading. Oh yeah, I was really surprised. I, I'm not rumble reading. I'm not saying this playable, but scry two is nice. But just that they they're not abandoning land destruction completely is pretty cool. And then the uh, the vandal I thought was pretty cool too. Uh, yeah. Actually, let me roll the commercial here real quick, guys, and I'll be right back when we get an opponent. I'll be right there. Um, where was I set at? That's the one. Boop. I can answer any question you have. I'm Wiki Bear. <laughs> this is great. Okay, uh, here's a question, uh, Wiki Bear. Uh, what's the longest street in America? Checking now. <laughs> Got it. That title belongs to Colfax Avenue in Colorado, over 26 miles long, yay! No, that's great, that was yeah, really yeah. cool that he came up with that. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of long streets, Civil War General James Longstreet was partially responsible for over 10,000 Confederate casualties during the Battle of Antietam, the bloodiest single day battle in American history. What a bloodbath, I'm Wiki Bear. <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot of terrible fatalities in, in the Civil War. Imagine yeah. ditches filled with dead horses. Okay, okay. Let's, try an let's, let's try another question. Uh, what's the fastest animal on land? The fastest land animal is the cheetah. It can reach speeds up to 75 miles per hour. See, that was great information really fast. Yeah, yeah. But it's still not fast enough to outrun Jack the Ripper. <laughs> The notorious 19th century British serial killer who murdered at least five prostitutes. Lickety split. back. I had a mulligan on one lander here, and then we met with another one. Uh, a lot easier to ship this one, so bam. I'm sorry, Nichols. I really thought 3-2 are better with today's outing, but it happens. Yeah, we want to mulligan this. Let's throw this back. Okay, this is keepable. Keep. Keeping a one lander last game. Almost pulled it off. Yeah, this is a good hand. This is a good card. I don't know what we're up against. We'll put it on top. We got two lands. We're good. We got a soldier. We got this nice little uh, three attack flyer with the soldier back up next turn with the cartouche and instant. Job prospects are looking great. I've got quite a few ins at really, really good companies and uh, reworked my resume something fierce. One of my friends said it looked flat out intimidating because he's another editor, so... Good times. Doing all, quite a bit of stuff from home too, so everything's fine. Just never been on such an editing high. Yesterday I edited for like, no joke, probably 16 hours. Just, I was doing stuff I'm not even going to show anybody. It's just kind of like the, uh, what would you call it? That Well, you know, there are so many. I'm going to prefer the soldier over a days. I'm sorry, two trains of thought here. So many foils and days in the format here. I kind of want to have this javelin here stick. So it looks like island, which is good news for us, usually. JT3497, I don't think we've heard from you before. Good to see you, and thanks for chiming in, as I always like to say. 
The last round, we're going to roll to uh, the new trailer for the magic set after the tourney's over. I should say the, the butchering's over. You know, I'm fond of saying that too, though. One of the things showing up here, if you crash and burn, it's all good. It happens. But it's neat to see it happen with a deck that I think is definitely tier 1.5. It might even border on 1, depending on the metagame. Like if you just see Delver all day long, this deck can really smash. Tron, not so much. I can mark that off the little, like, today went well list as far as that goes. This is one deck that doesn't like to see Tron. It does like to see Macabres in those matchups, though. That was fun to see. All right. This is maybe that list. We shall see. Pull this out. I'm just going to go all out here. I'm going to focus on the thing I don't care about because we're going up against lots of removal, so we'll put it on the token. See if he wants to mess with that at all. And I'm just going to attack here. What's he hitting here? War Falcon. That sucks. And we attack. One thing I haven't done in like three weeks is play arena. About two weeks. I was playing at about 50-50. I don't know. I just got really back into these. Do you think we will get some Tron hate? It doesn't matter what I think. It's up to up to wizards. I wish I wish they would ask the popper crowd, but things just kind of seem to iron out or we find our ways around the problems. What kind of editing I do? I do mostly promo and trailer editing for movie trailers and such. All right. What don't I care about? Well, I don't really care about this. If he wants to kill something, I want him to have to focus on the token. After seeing Echoing Decay, it'd be funny if he has an Echoing Decay because this will make one if he doesn't. Pretty much commercials and such. All right. Well, got that either way. And attack. I don't know. Uh, long form editing is pretty cool. Like if you're on a movie you really like, then it's awesome, right? I mean, who doesn't want to like cut the Shawshank Redemption or the Princess Bride or, you know, classics. But to get to those, you've got to pay years of dues of just working on just garbage. Straight to video style stuff. It can get a... Uh, all right, I think he's going to have to treat that angler with some uh, defensive love. And maybe we can draw a journey or one of our many uh, rings to seal it up. All right, well, we got a nice target there. Let's shoot that for obvious gain. All right, well, this is interesting. Let's just bring back the javelin here. Play him again. We've got a two offense. Days. All right. Always been on the fence about days. Sometimes it just feels amazing. Other days doesn't feel so good. Island in hand. Two cards out. We know he's on Delver, so we'll keep that Javelinier back. This feels good. Now you want that days. Foil shows up, and they're hellbent. Fine with us. Eight life soon to be none, hopefully. Pretty naked on the board. Throws a foil to counter the foil. Or, I mean, to counter. Ah, <sighs> you know, I was so enthusiastic when I woke up this morning. I still am, I guess. I was like, yeah, man, I can't wait to play today. And I still, I, you know, this is what, what I love about this format, right? Crash and burn had some, I've kept some pretty crap hands, but also, you know, had some bad draws. And I just, all I want to do as is play the, keep playing this deck. I, I remember that about white Nichols list, the original one. I was like, man, I think I played it for like three weeks straight. And if you know me, that's a lot. It's like somebody else's, I'm not like the last player. That's the only deck you ever play or, you know, it, and there's, it's not a diss at all. It's like a, that, that kind of focus is pretty, I think pretty rare. Bordering on admirable. Bit stultified, but hey, what do they say? Expert at one thing or a master of none? 
Good times. Is there a deck list called Crash and Burn? Sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, you know what I've actually been curious about? You never see anybody with a theft deck, right? Those decks that just... Um, I was going to disfigure. Um, you know, they uh, grab this and shoot that. You know what I mean? The um, Active Treason style decks. There's so many cards that do that. Blows my mind that it hasn't really been figured out much more than that since. All right. Well, there's no Delvers on the horizon. That's not going to get through. Um, all right. I'm just going to let this through. Yeah, model red vehicles list. That being said, I should maybe I'll just save that for next week. That the deck that I was talking about with DJ Glitter because he's got the list that I played against him so much, or that he played against me was so much different than the one that five owed. He's got like three five O's with it, and it's just you know about every three weeks or so. It's kind of his pet deck. All right, this feels pretty good. Uh, at least garner some attention, be able to block for quite a bit. We know that his figures there. Let's attack. Yeah. Death Blade's pretty cool against Angler too, because we can just pay that two mana and block all day long, unless he wants to disfigure it, which will probably happen. There it goes. They know the move. And if you haven't caught the top of the show, yeah, caught the top of the show, go back and check it out. There's a cool little sunrise vignette piece that I put together. Pretty cool. I liked it. We'll take it again. Maybe he drew a Delver. Curse of Chains. Hmm. All right. Now we really want another one, huh? Hmm. Oh, come on. Don't be doing this to us. Hmm. Hellbent. This felt so winnable just like two turns ago. Then the Curse of Chain shows up. Deck block shoot, take five. Clear the road for three. I'm going to sit back. I'll block angler and shoot. Get number three. Double attack, mutagenic might be able to pull it off. Just more outs on the old decision tree. That's if I don't block. Hmm. I am going to block. We'll rock here. Shoot here. And see how many more turns we have. This is good. Play this, unless it's countered. You could just have a hard casted foil or just a counter spell. Then that works too. We'll bring this up. Casey is sitting on a whatchamacallit? Daze. Hmm. Yeah, let's return this. <laughs> this way. We're out of decay range, but there's quite a bit of other stuff we've got to worry about. We'll take it. We're going to be able to block with the drill master there. Drop the drill. Isn't that what I was saying? Come on, something other than that helps. All right, let's play this. See if we can shut the door here. Two cards in our opponent's hand. Let's attack. Snuff out shows up. All right. We are all in here, folks. We'll go like this. Is that enough? Maybe he's got another snuff out. Too late for that. Cavalry Dentist Riders. <laughs> Nim, what are you smoking? Give me some of that. 
Oops, that's where I'm getting all jacked up. That's a W, I believe. There we go. So yeah, when I threw this together, not threw it together, I mean, this is a very well-defined list, but I took out the bone splitter and I leaned a little bit more on Journey to Nowhere. They weren't prevalent there, but it was for this matchup. You would think these are good against, if you're a beginner player or whatever, you don't really want to bring these in against angler-style decks. They, they just walk around it. It's really there for Tron or any sort of a, anything with ghostly flicker. Other than that, you really want to question bringing in the macabre. But it just shows how strong that combo is. As we saw in what was that round two, just get you know started off. Yeah, won this one, and that's like dead, dead, dead. Bring in the alkalites. That's pretty cool. Fracture is a little extreme. We'll keep the ring in there for that same reason. We saw some uh, bleh, delvers. But I might take out one of these. These are good for defense. I really like this. This one is the game. I'm going to go like this. And we'll hopefully come back to a nice 2-0 to end the day here. Going 2-3 and three if we win this one. That's so... I would have lost quite a few... Uh, quite a bit of money on that one. 3-2 or better is usually the way this this rolls. Yeah, round one, lost a very rare loss to Stompy. That's kind of what started it. Two, we lost two. I could see that happening because three, oh, you know what? I didn't even mark down. I got everything in the wrong columns on this thing. Sorry. You guys can't see it. Why am I talking about it? Silliness. All right. But yeah, the original list had like giant baiting. It's pretty cool. Man, with... 18 lands, you'd think we wouldn't have this happen so much. Obviously, mulligan this. Obviously, keep this. This is just getting better and better. We'll throw this on top. Get out of shrivel country. Let's play that, that, and that. Go from there. Almost have to bait the uh, counter spell here. It's tempting, you know, you want to throw that obsidian out right away, but shrivel kills it. Or counter spells might be better played once the uh, board's established. What do you guys think? Awfully quiet in the chat. Come on, hang out with me. Whoop. It's getting cold in here. I'm gonna put back on my slippers. There we go. Hmm. All right. Looks like it's getting met with a daze. At least the threat of one. Nope. Considering things. Here we are. All right. Well. Yeah, a handful of cards. We know they were in foil. Days. Counterspell. I know it seems like, yeah, drop that alkali. Be done with it. But then we're susceptible to shrivel. Whereas if we kind of wait for him to overextend, maybe two or three cards, drops the angler down. Then we got a blocker and an answer with more mana backup. So I'm going to go that plan. So cold up there, man in the high castle. <laughs> yep. Um, what's that, third season? I binged watched all of that. That was good stuff. Very surprised that actor, I think his name's Sewell, Sewell, something like that. All right, let's play this. Isn't in more things. That guy's got movie star written all over him. As a trailer editor, to speak to the last question, those are the kind of faces you cut to and makes trailers feel good. Yeah, yeah, the first season's pretty good. Second, it gets a, I don't know, we'll see. It's its one of those shows, depending on how they round out the arc, they're, they're taking on some pretty heavy topics. Quantum realities and such, it's... Uh, yeah, not the best show to watch while inebriated or sleepy. Not that I did, but I would get lost, doze off, look back up and be like, what, what on earth is happening here? It's crazy. All right. Do we drop the Alkalite now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's try it. We're out of day's range. It's going to cost him two cards with a foil if he's got it. If he responds with like a disfigure, we can... Hey, it landed. Wow. 
That's a trip. Mutagenic can keep it from shriveled country. I think I'm just going to sit back. Talk about shutting off a big chunk of the deck. So we've got our own counter magic, but it's for every plane that we have against most of the answers for this list. Feeling good. Obsidian's on the board. Shrivel's nice. It's going to take out our whole team. Not going to save it from that. Ouch. Down goes most of our dudes. That's what I was afraid of. I'm just glad that didn't get met with a foil. All right. Well, now. Let's throw this on here. Hmm. I'm going to drop the drill. Might get met with a daze. Might not. Look at this. Another shrivel's nice. Just in the chance they got edicts, I don't want to follow that. Keep the aggro list going, baby. They're having a hand like we had. I feel for you, but I'm glad it's you and not me. Yeah, and Chimsky, I'm not going to be a uh, television vampire and tell you, oh, you got to hang out. It's 50-50. Like I said, it all depends on like the next season. Th season three, a little bit like, you know, if I didn't have so much time on my hand, I'd be like, I'm done, you know, but. Well, that's not going to do him any good, is it? We'll save this for more stuff and we'll just attack like crazy. Got him on a two-turn clock here. Don't go anywhere if we run this one over really quick. This is uh, the beauty of Obsidian Alkalite. You can't do anything to me. Oh, wow, and I'm Timsky. What I really have enjoyed recently was uh, Norm MacDonald has a special out, and I know this is going to sound really crazy, but it's, his special is called Hitler's Dog. And it's just, it, I love his kind of humor. Really, really like his stuff. Can't recommend that one enough. Very, uh, very dry. He was at a roast a few years back and told a bunch of old, like, really wholesome 1920s baseball jokes. And it was it was lost on the crowd for about the first five minutes. And then when they started getting the hang of it, people got it and they just started rolling. It was pretty fun. All right. Check out how cool that looks. Protected from black. He looks like a guy that would be protected from black. Dude looks pretty tough. In we go with the smash. We've got triple backup plan with our obsidian. Of course, it doesn't help against nausea, but it'll at least keep our alkalite alive. Yeah, yeah, Netflix, uh, gosh, a long time ago when it first came around, you could kind of run, run it out, like after a month or two, see your favorite things. And all right, so we did go 2-3. Apologies to White Nickel. Uh, this deck's a lot better than that. It wasn't really any punts on my end it just uh and i really wouldn't change much of anything we we uh i had i guess you could call that that a punt where i, I kept the one lander in the uh fourth round last deciding game but i was feeling a little frisky what you gonna do so this is white nickel i really highly recommend this list if you like aggro and stuff it kind of seems to have an answer for everything uh we saw it a little bit today but we'll see yeah i thought so too shiraz i mean can't win them all sort of thing um oh let me go back over the the list here before uh we we say sayonara sagittarius volume boy they're really throwing a lot of hate i don't again i new card smell and all i think this is going to see play like the first week or two and then it's going to same with the what is it, aerial volley destroy target creature with flying it does one damage to each creature with flying of your opponent's uh, your opponent's control it's like a double whammy there so that's pretty cool let's see titanic brawl just because it's an instant fight card um whether or not this second one comes in ability that's that's a pretty nice ability to have there that the ability to, to uh, fight like that, something like uh, infect might even, or uh, poison, that sort of thing, might be able to uh, be a, you know, like a doom blade for green if you uh, design correctly around it. And Wrecking Beast, that's quite a bit of card. Riot, you know, paying seven, maybe in a ramp deck like I was talking about, you, you can uh, come out and just start smashing. And for the first time in a long time, we've got some pretty trippy, you know, multicolored cards in a set that we are actually able to play with in Popper, right? I know Fire Ice just got spoiled a few 
weeks or months back, but this uh, biomancy is pretty neat. Choose one or both. Love seeing that word, instant. I think Simic comes across as the winner of this set. Does anybody else out there agree with me? I think uh, maybe uh, Orzhov is right behind it, but it just seems like Simic got some got some gems where it's like, I shouldn't say gems. They, they got some pretty good cards. But So target creature gets plus 1-1 one, one until the end of turn or return target creature to its owner's hand. There's a... Uh, I think there's going to be a build or two with uh, some of you out there that might use something like Bond Beetle and um, Hexproof Creatures. Make something pretty spicy that starts... Heck, I don't know if I go as far as uh, Biorhythm or Biomancy, whatever that card is where you shift the counters, but uh, it'll be uh, it'd be pretty interesting. Let's see. There was uh, the, the big one. Where was it? Final Payment. Oh my God. Look at this card. Now, if you're playing Black White, this is one of the best cards ever. If you're not, it's not. But check this out. As an additional cost to cast a spell, pay five life or sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Destroy target creature. Instant speed. No stipulations other than you have to get rid of something. So I thought that was pr pretty cool card design there and surprised to see it at a common. That was, that's, that's just nice and flexible. Uh, gives you a lot of hope for the uh, the future there. And of course, you know, Growth Spiral, one of the very first ones spoiled. Um, draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Instant speed. Simic love. And then what was this last one I had? I don't, I had a little note next to it and I can't even read it. Uh, where was it? Was it under F? I think it was under F. Ah, where'd it go? Oh yeah. That, was that it? No, I, I said, uh, Footlight Devil. The little devil. Yeah, that little devil. There it is. Footlight Fiend. I like this card. Played in a black or red deck or both. And when it dies, one damage to any target. It'd be nice if it did wither damage and you could sacrifice it, but at, I think that's a little too powerful as shown by the uh, Fume Spitter in round four. This is, uh, though, whenever you can kill stuff and not kill it, or whatever the hell that means. But you know what I mean, where, where you attack and people are like, eh, I don't want to kill that thing. So it's, uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff there. Let me go over the list real quick that I might play next week. I'm sure it'll change a little bit between then. I should have had this queued up. My apologies for that. Um, but yeah, his name is DJ Glitter. I mean, I guess you can just look it up too if I can find it. I've got too many decks here. See, I need to focus on one deck one of these days. I tell you, if I ever, if and when I ever quit Propaganda, I'll be able to focus on one deck. We all know that's a lie, right? Maybe. There it is. Boink! All right. So let me minimize this. So yeah, this this uh, runs... Let me, I'll bring this back up. Doo -doo -doo. Here we are. So we've got uh, four Ash Barons, four Wilds, five and five. Just real, real, real bare bones. We really accelerate the draw with the Street Wrath and the Probe throwing a looting. Burning Tree shows up. We've got Root Wallas. We've got three Rancors. Just one Metagenic. I didn't ask him about that, but one of the very first lists I like Kurt Ape in. I, I uh, usually roll my eyes at this card and it gets blocked by a bunch, but we have so much stuff to get rid of things and get out of the way, get out of the way, and then keep redrawing. Grapple with the Past. Pretty cool card in this list. Uh, instant Speed. Get, grab any creature. And of course, the big wrecking ball that we're playing for is the Hooting Mandrels. You notice I don't even have a sideboard for this, but this thing... It, you know, it, it only has 21 creatures, and really it's only 17 because we're not even playing this. We're just drawing with it. But it feels like you're playing like Red Goblins. It just it keeps coming, and obviously Faithless Looting is starting to become one of those cards. It's just four of, you know. It's, it's pretty hard not to, so. How big of an impact are Fire and Ice? Fire and Ice, I've... I haven't really seen much at all. I've had it played against me. It just didn't do anything. It's very flexible. The options are there. I just don't think the right deck's been built around it yet. Um, I would I would ask the player, uh, I think it's Malovbo. He has a really cool um, horns deck. It's a it's a red, red blue. I can't play it to save my life, but it's uh, super, super uh, uh, draw heavy, blue, red, and then it, then it hits you with uh, that horn spell, that, you know, that puts the two, three Minotaurs with haste down. I could see it in that. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, that, that'd be a question better for, for him. Cause I could see fire ice maybe fitting in that, but you know, if he's not running it, then maybe that answers the question right there. Cause if there's ever a deck for it, it's probably that one. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, thank you for that. Shiraz. I appreciate that. Anyway, guys, apologies to Nichols again. I know I've done it like three times and I'm always hard on myself, but Hey, um, outside of keeping a one lander, I think we, I played all right, but deck sometimes it doesn't show up but i highly recommend the list it'll be in the chat at the bottom of the thing and rewind 
you know, on YouTube, whatever. There's, we've played this, I think, two times prior, and I, th I think it did. I know it did a lot better than this. I think we might have had a 5-0 with it or a 4-1, something impressive. But uh, till then, guys, I'm going to roll to a commercial or three, and uh, new set's coming out. Keep it real. Keep creating. Don't hate. And, uh, you know, and also don't, don't overdo having my back if stuff like that happens. I, I meant that about the tribalism thing. That's why I don't like clans on NTGO and stuff. It's like, you know what? It, like I said, 3,000 to 1 is a nice ratio to be running. So, anyway, guys, love you all, even you haters. And we'll see you next time on Papaganda. Boop. We are at the threshold of a new age. Did you think death would free you from your obligation? When the system fails, we will balance the scales. This is cruel territory now! Fear. This is what we've been preparing for! <laughs> the end race is upon us! Your skull will make a fine trophy. A perfect brew every time. Dawnbringer's Coffee. The rarest beans. Fire roasted. A one drop of perfection. At the beginning of your upkeep, Choose bold, rich, legendary flavors. Choose Dawnbringer's Coffee, the angel on your shoulder. Available at all fine Singer Superstores.